This might be a little bit loud. I apologize. <laughs> Because Nick told me to. Yeah. Oh, hey! No, not at all. As I recall, you got what I danced. That's a good movie. Clucking the chowds. Yeah, just uh, clucking some chowds today. Mm -hmm, all right. Pow, there it is. Hello and welcome, Mother Truck, and welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. 10 years running. I cannot believe that I've been doing this vlog for 10 years. It's insane to me. I think about that literally every time I, I start to sit and plan the vlog and the segments and picking out the liquids and picking out the retro vape. I think, man, I've been doing this. I've been doing this way too long. People still show up, so I'm just going to keep doing it. I see you guys there in the chat. I see Michael Redfern here. The 60-watt guy is here. Mr. Doss Vapor, J. Blaze Coils, Tribal Buddha, Urn, LJ, Kevin Chocolate, the, 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 Garmel, the Gargamel Clown is here. The Gargamel Clown. And Nick Devine. We've been graced with Nick Devine's presence. Builder, you know, of the century, really. Nick Devine. Apaka is here. Good Lord, Kevin K, I see you guys here. Frank, yo, yo, ping the routers here. I, I really do appreciate you guys coming out. It's Thursday, you know, it's Thursday, the day we get to hang out, the day we get to goof off and fellowship and uh, listen to uh, me ramble about news and advocacy. And uh, we do random liquid tastings and drink beer. And damn it, I just look forward to Thursdays literally every week, every week. I look forward to Thursdays. Uh, let me, let me do, let me give you a real quick, uh, rundown of course someone's calling me right now from lancaster california perfect perfect timing too let me give you a real quick rundown as far as what's coming up tonight hello that's what i have written it says hello hello uh beer of course i have a beer of course i have a beer we're gonna go over uh what i've been vaping what's up apaca i see you there bro i still see you all over social media i see you on instagram i see you carving away just carving away like a like a crazy carving person Beer, of course. What I've been vaping, yes. Uh, Assignment America, yes. What you've been vaping. We're going to sing happy birthday because there's some birthdays today. If anybody else in the chat has a birthday, yo, yo, Jeremy Clark, I see you there, buddy. It's time to uh, cluck some childs. If anybody has a birthday, try to get my attention. Let me know in the chat. Send in a super chat if you want to. And uh, I'll definitely, definitely sing you happy birthday. It's just one of my favorite things to do. So we do that on this stream. Uh, I I'm going to have some news tonight, but it's not really going to be news. I have like, I don't know, one news thing. I got like one, I got like one to two news things. And then we're going to watch a video. We're going to watch. It's like a, it's like film strip day again in school. We're going to watch a video. We're going to watch a 10 minute long video. Can you believe it? 10 minutes long. I hope to hold everybody's attention for that full 10 minutes. And I'll give you a full introduction as to what this video is. But, uh, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the intro video, um, months ago, many months ago, uh, we had a Las Vegas Patreon meetup. And shortly before that Patreon meetup, I had a few, you know, this is a very rare thing. I had a few people in my house, like subscriber patron people that were in my house, like in my personal space. We'll get there. Don't worry. We'll get there when we get there. We're going to watch a great video during news and advocacy. It's going to be a great video. Of course, I have a retro vaping. Of course, we have some mail. Of course, we're going to have a liquid tasting. And maybe if we have time, we'll do some getting to know Grim Green, talk about some music and tunes and the such as, and, and even this is underlined with multiple exclamation points, Star Wars contest. I'm slowly slowly getting rid of all of my Star Wars collectibles that I, that exist in my house that are just taking up massive amounts of space. And I want them to go to good Star Wars homes. You know, I want real like Star Wars fans to get these things and have, you know, a really nice Star Warsy experience. The 26th Gargamel, writing it down. You can't stop me. Yep, it's happy birthday to you. 
It's going to be happening. Uh, there's going to be a Murphy and a Schneeko possibly walking around for, for a little bit. Uh, I have to try to feed them dinner within the next half hour or so just because I'm all alone. My wife's gone out of town gallivanting across Italy with, you know, with work and everything like that. So it's just me. I've been trying to do the best I can, but, you know, the laundry's not getting done. I keep the house clean. I keep the kitchen clean. I've loaded and unloaded the dishwasher on, on my, you know, under my own volition without being asked to just so you know yo yo and salutations i want to say massive thank you oh well, that's very nice of you i want to say massive thank you for everything you do within the vape community i am in scotland uh uk so it's currently midnight 34 a.m so i can't style long but thanks mate any advice on a first squonk mod i think you know what i'm gonna say here i think you know what i'm gonna say here empire empire baby Empire's a spectacular, spectacular squonk mod. I'm biased, heavily biased, but it's a damn, it's a damn hell ass good squonk. It's a damn hell ass good squonk. So with all of that said and out of the way, welcome you guys. Let's get, let's jump into this. Uh, I've got something cold and frosty next to me, Tribal Buddha. It's a beer from the Tribal Buddha collection. We're going to get into it. I got something to say. I killed your baby today. And it doesn't matter much to me as long as it's dead. We got a beer. We got uh, a Misfits beer on loan. Like I said, on loan. I'll be returning it <laughs> uh, from the from the Tribal Buddha collection of beers. Uh, he's a huge Misfits fan. I have a I have a Misfits record that was a gift from Tribal Buddha. He's a huge Misfits fan, so of course we have Misfits beer. Uh, I'm gonna read this: a collaboration between the Misfits and Knuckle Bones. We are passionate. We are passionate about all forms of art. Our limited edition music collaboration with Knuckle Bones combines our love of great beer with our devotion to great music, inspired by the Misfits and designed to pair with their groundbreaking legacy. Fiend Lager is crisp, crushable, and 100% punk. 100% punk. Are we sure that this is 100% punk rock? I'm fascinated by this beer. Let's just get into it. Let's use the John Dorian three tap method. Works every single time. Yeah. At least it's not in a bottle. The aroma is that of uh, beer. I'm going to be pouring this over my keyboard and phone now again. Uh, we got a Bull and Bush. We got a Bull and Bush brewery. Let's pour. I'm expecting, you know, like it says, crushable. This is, a, this is a big, easy-drinking, crushable beer. I guarantee you. Ah, uh, fancy. Okay, okay. Hang on there, Nick. Perfection has been achieved. We even got a little head poking outside of the rim of the glass. That's professional. That's, pro that's a professional pour right there. That, I'm basically a, a sommelier now. Think about it. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just go. Cheers, you guys. Happy fucking vlog day. I'm going to get demonetized for that F-bomb. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, super crushable, super easy drinking. It kind of just tastes like beer. I get like maybe a, a very slight like lemon peel citrusy characteristic on there. But for the most part, it's just big and crispy and and. American, you know, lager, beer type. This is, you know, you drink 19 of these on a weekend. Delightful. It's delicious. Good Lord, that's a really good beer. I, I get almost a little bit of like, not, I want to say piney, but when I say piney, uh, most folks think about an IPA. IPA. This doesn't have any IPA like characteristics to it, but it does have a pine, like a pine. I don't know if you've ever, uh, 
I think I've said this before, but I don't know if you've ever been near a pine tree and then like picked a pine needle off of the pine tree and then like broke it in half and then like smelled or licked what was in there. I did this when I was a little kid because I grew up amongst pine trees and you know, you get curious. So it's whatever. I pull off a pine tree. It's gross. It, it tastes like pine and it's really, really like astringently bitter pine. I'm kind of getting that flavor minus the bad parts, like the good astringent pine. I'm just digging myself into a hole right now that I may not recover from. So I'm just going to say, damn hell ass good. Easy drinking, crushable, crushable. I want to keep this uh, can too, tribal Buddha. I'm going to rinse this can out, keep it somewhere on my, you know, my ever growing clutter collection on my, on my shelves over here. But, uh, yeah, shit. Yeah. Let's drink it. Misfits. Now, I don't know if this is a hundred percent punk. Um, I was never like a, a real, uh, I was never a real big with the, with outside of like pop punk and, and things like MXPX and Blink-182. I was never a big like punk fan. I mean, much later in life, much, you know, into my 20s, I started listening to and appreciating a lot more punk music, but I didn't listen to a lot of punk. Uh, yeah, just a good American lager, no bells, no whistles. Treble but it's just like it says on the can. Crushable. Crushable. It's crushable 9000. It's crushable 10000. So like I said, I was never like a, a Misfits, a huge Misfits fan or really, really very into like the punk ethos and, and, and the way of living and stuff like that. But from, from the little research I've done about punk, uh, I know that one of the tenets of punkness is uh, uh, you're, you're kind of anti consumerism. You know, you're kind of anti needless consumerism. You know, like you don't need uh, 18 pairs of pants. You need one pair of pants. You don't need needless consumerism. When I see a Misfits mass-produced beer can, I think that's not punk. <laughs> I mean, it looks punk. It's definitely got punk rock aesthetics, but, you know, it's it's just more consumerism. I wonder what Jerry Only would say about that, you know? <laughs> probably nothing. He'd probably say, fuck you, drink my beer. And you go, oh, okay, Jerry Only. Fuck you, I'll drink your beer. Oh, sorry, Murphy. I, he Murphy lays under my desk and I accidentally kick him like every five minutes, literally every five minutes. Now, as far as what I'm going to pair with this, here's where everything's going to be really interesting. This pod has a liquid in it. Uh, let me just try the pairing first and then I'll tell you what liquid's in here. After, as soon as this burp comes out, it's really going to be Pennywise. Dude, get out of here. I love Pennywise. I love Pennywise. Got hard into Pennywise. Hard. Pennywise. Lagwagon. Offspring. Offspring. Let's try this pairing. It's not really objectively good but it's crazy nostalgic to me. So what I just paired this with, you see this liquid right here? It says uh, Black Note, American Blend. You see this right here? Does anybody, just quick show of hands in the chat, does anybody have the desire to vape a classic cigarette taste? Classic, <coughs> classic cigarette taste. What, what I find more interesting about it is it's three milligram, uh, you know, three milligram per milliliter, not for sub-ohm use. It's a three milligram that's not for sub-ohm use. I don't know why that's on there. Not really, right? Nope. N no, no interest in the classic cigarette taste, the classic cigarette taste. I got to tell you, man, when I first started vaping, a lot of no's in the chat. I see you. You are heard. Fee, Earn, Pigeon, Ben, Janine, El Chris, just a big no. Cool Tech Dreamer, nope. Darth Vapor, nope. Nicole Stockdale, nope. Nope. 
No one wants to vape a classic cigarette taste. That's what we all used to smoke. So why wouldn't you want to vape it? What do I work for tobacco control? You, you're used to tasting things that taste like crap, aren't you? You used to smoke burning cigarettes. Why don't you want to vape something that tastes like a burning cigarette? Why don't you want to vape something that tastes like the most lethal consumer product that's ever existed on the market ever? You mean you don't want to taste that? Thankfully, thankfully, this does not taste anything like a classic cigarette taste. I saw the box and uh, I got it out. Beecher was here and we got this out. We were having some uh, hashtag shed time in a combustible format. And uh, we were talking about the joys that we, we, you know, we used to once derive from the old, you know, shed time cannabis combustion version with like a cigarette and how delightful that combination was. And I said, hey, we can vape and I have a liquid that is classic cigarette flavor, classic cigarette taste. It doesn't. Thankfully, I'd rather vape farts, Darth Vapor. That's tough. That's I would I think I would rather vape a tobacco than farts. That's just, you know, that's like the Harry Potter, uh, you know, jelly beans that taste like barf and dog farts. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's that video on the Internet of that kid throwing up after he eats one. It's hilarious. So this, sorry, thankfully does not taste like a cigarette. It literally in any capacity. It tastes like it tastes like if you tried to light a wet cigarette on fire and smoke a wet cigarette. It tastes like wet, moist. I know I just used the, basically the same word twice. M wet, moist, damp <laughs> cigarettes. Like if you opened a fresh pack of cigarettes and smelled it and then dunked it underwater and then vaped it, that's kind of what this tastes like. It tastes like soggy tobacco to me. And that damn soggy tobacco flavor is just really hyper sentimental to me. When I first started vaping, tobacco flavors were, were, were what I thought I wanted, you know? <laughs> I thought, oh, I smoke cigarettes, have a tobacco flavor. I bought a bunch of tobacco flavors, didn't enjoy any of them, bought some clove flavors, enjoyed those much more. But there was one tobacco that I don't even know who made it, but it was called Carolina Tobacco. I'm assuming because of the Carolinas being such tobacco country, Carolina Tobacco kind of makes sense, but it had a very similar flavor to it. It's not sweet. It tastes like wet cigarettes and like peanuts a little bit. Like licking your cigarettes. Yeah, like, lick <laughs> like licking your cigarettes. It, it's just a really bizarre flavor. If this wasn't called a tobacco, I wouldn't even know what to call it. Peanut bark. It kind of tastes like the inside of a peanut skin. Yeah, inside of a peanut skin. Hmm. But you know what? Hey, it actually pairs uh, pretty well. I think any tobacco. I wish I had literally any other tobacco set up right now, but I do not. Maybe mung bean? Should we go the mung bean route? Mmm. Gross. Okay, so not, not mung bean route. Not the mung bean route. I feel like I should give this away to somebody at some point, whoever wants to taste the classic cigarette taste in a three milligram, you know, and you, I spent like whatever, a month or two with tobacco flavors. And then immediately it's like, oh, root beer. Oh, I don't have, it, it doesn't have to taste like cigarettes. Why am I trying to, why am I trying to make my vape taste like a camel when it could taste like root beer or sour green apple or Skittles or bubble gum or cotton candy or any of the other child appealing flavors. Oh, it can taste like all those things. Yeah, great. So yeah, that's it. Let's get, let's have a beer. Let's get that coursing through our veins. Uh, real quickly, 
Real quickly, here's the thing. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna play you uh, my what I've been vaping. Okay, just gonna play you. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, okay, yeah, here it is. Okay. Nope. Hang on. So I'm going to play you this. I'm going to play you real quickly what I've been vaping while this is playing. I'm going to run out to the kitchen, and I'm going to try to feed the dogs real quick. Just real quick. And that means like in 45 minutes, I need to let them out of the crates. Look, I'm trying my best here, you guys, okay? So real quickly, here's... At Here's the thing, Stu, Stu, before we even get here, Stu. I like tobacco flavors. I seriously love tobacco flavors. I went on to love tobacco flavors. I've got some other ones from Black Note that we're going to be tasting on future vlogs. I, I, I vaped tobaccos from Baker White that I just absolutely loved. I'm, I have my own tobacco. We're releasing a tobacco with Uncommon. It's an unbelievable tobacco. So I'm a huge still fan of tobaccos. I just don't want my tobacco liquids to attempt to taste like a cigarette. Literally, literally in any way. Literally in any way, I don't want that to happen. So with that said, with the air cleared, now, first things first, here's a few things that I have been vaping. I'm going to go feed the dogs. So my wife has been gone for the last week or so, so it's just been kind of bachelor Nick just hanging out with the dogs. So there isn't going to be like a living room what I've been vaping because when my wife's not here, I don't generally hang out in the living room and like watch movies or TV shows by myself. The one place that I do hang out by myself when it's just bachelor Nick with Nick and the dogs is right here at the end of my kitchen island. It's just, just my spot. And it's a good spot, you know? It's a, it's a sturdy spot. I got, I got a spot for my water, I got a spot for hashtag shed time, and I have a bunch of stuff, all my vapes out here that make it the, what is that? 15 feet from my office. Two pods have been traveling around with me. One of them is the Caliburn A3S, but with just normal A3 pods on the inside, what has the world come to? And this, the Vaporesso uh, Vico Go. I'm in the middle of doing a review for this. It's a little disposable-ish, I guess. This Caliburn actually has a salt nicotine in it. I don't vape salt nicotine. I just don't. I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the sensation it gives me. It's just not my favorite thing. But... While I was at Vapor Expo UK, there was a company called Sick Juice, Yuck Juice, hang on, <laughs> Wick, it's, it's Wick Salts. I don't know why I thought that said Yuck Salts, but I guess it is actually Wick Salts. It's a, it's a cherry cola. I picked up at Vapor Expo UK, the Vapen Bogan really vouched for this cherry cola. He's a cherry cola person, as I am a cherry cola person. I kind of want to say, apart from the salt nicotine of this, it's a great cherry cola flavor. Why doesn't anybody do a 12 milligram 50-50 PGVG free base cherry cola flavor? Just please do it. The Ethos with the PNP coil head and the uh, gifted tribal Buddha drip tip has been getting a shocking amount of use. Shocking amount of use. I mean, I knew that I liked PNP coil heads. I just didn't know that I would enjoy this sort of real low blocky form factor so much. Poor kids of Discord is on the inside. That is a spectacular vape. Last week's uh, retro vaping still going strong on the Immortal Mods. It's the motherfucking Abita, the fucking Oxva Abita. Still slapping like crazy. The cherry cheesecake on the inside is just so good. Yeah, you like that? That's the uh, Karasu number 11 from Moo Mods out of Japan. 
Tripod 2 on top from Atmazoo. Uncommon on the inside. It's the lemon raspberry eclair chocolate cream puff pastry. Someday I will actually remember the numbers of all the uncommons. This is truly one of those setups where everything comes together and it's just awesome. I love this device. I love the tripod too on top of this device. I love the liquid inside the tripod too. And then the great Seamus, Chef Seamus, handed me down this whistle tip drip tip. That was the icing on the cake. This is the, this is the, perfect, this is the perfect topper for this tank. What do you see outside? Is there a squirrel? Do you want to go outside? The ever vigilant squirrel patrol, always on duty in the backyard. I'm gonna go check on him. The Odin 2 legal RDA combo has been going for a while now. I, I just love this setup. This is another one of those, it all kind of came together really perfectly setups. I wish I hadn't scratched the back of this Odin so much, but I really like the green and the green combo. That just slaps. Raspberry Ripple, you know, it's Amortorium's glamor. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, good. And then the thing from the last few days that's probably been getting the most use out of everything on my desk or everything on this countertop, we built it on the Tuesday Vape Fiddle on Twitch. Yeah, I know. It's a dot AIO thing. This, so there's a plane. This is the Yozu, I believe it's pronounced Yozu from Indonesia. It's just a little restricted lung banger. I put a Twisted Timmy's coil in here. I, it, it, the crackle level is out of control. This is cookie cutter, perfect crackle for me. I hope you can hear it. Six milligram oat drips mung bean in this, also from Indonesia. The crackle, just contributes to my overall vape satisfaction in ways that I just can't even explain to you. Even if I don't like the flavor as much or the setup as much or the airflow as much, I will gravitate towards crackly vapes rather than non-crackly vapes. And the crackle from that's unbelievable. So that's it. I mean, that's a uh... That's what, that's the things that I've truly, truly been really putting through their paces and vaping like crazy. I know that I have some desk warriors in the office, but I'm going to let other guy tell you about that. I'm going to let desk guy tell you about that. It's not, my software is acting dumb. I think it needs to be updated. Desk guy here, desk guy here. Sorry about that. Sorry, it was just a little ruckus right there. Desk guy here, here's what's on the desk. Yeah, it's a uh, 3D printed Voorhees uh, Boro, the click fet. It's got a MOSFET and a clicky switch button. Steam shell, mouth to lung, on the inside. Get out of here. I mean, that's awesome. I, I love that. That's a huge desk warrior. Still very a desk warrior. It's the Empire with the Squirida. It's got uh, floss, I believe, on the inside, a one-of-one one clear panel on the uh, Empire there that will never see the light of day because they're impossible to get on and off, but I still use it. Nope. Super Lunar Sweet Mango. Super Lunar Sweet Mango. Su Super Lunar Sweet Mango. That's what's in there. That's been a desk warrior. This has also been a desk warrior. I set this up. After last week's stream, we had Beecher Howard on the stream last week, coil turd, you know, and he says things like cluck in the chowds, cluck in the chowds. And uh, so I wanted to copy his vape RDA for vaping V2 got the two tone on there. Bonneville from RCM coils on the inside uh, our twisted Timmy variety. And we have some oat drips six milligram mung bean. This is the Beecher vape. It's close. It's almost, it's almost the Beecher vape. It's pretty damn close. I wish it was a little bit hotter. Um, as far as pods go, look, there's been two pods on my desk. I got a new Weenax. This is the Weenax Q review coming uh, very, very soon. And it's the, uh, you know, it's the Nevox Feelin' A1. The only reason the Nevox Feelin' A1 has been relegated to the desk is because of this drip tip. You see this drip tip here? 
You see how it's uh, crack to fill? And the other Nevox are not crack to fill and they have a different shaped mouthpiece. And I much prefer this mouthpiece to this mouthpiece. And the only reason is this is really short and tapered and I cannot for the life of me, it just takes a lot of effort to do hands-free. Clucking the childs. But still a good pod, still a good pod. Um, that's kind of it. There's a few things on my desk for review that I've been using, but I haven't been using them, you know, like as my daily rotations just yet. I have too much good vape stuff, including this made it back to the desk. What? Do anything for that crackle. Anything for that crackle. That's a good one. That's a good way to do it too. So yeah, that's what, uh, that's personally what I have been vaping, but we need to know about what you have been vaping. America, this is you. That's right. It's assignment America time. Or as we like to call it over here. Clucking the chowds. Just clucking the chowds. That's what we do. It's assignment planet globe time. This is where you guys send me your bangers because I want to see them. I just want to see them. There's literally no way around it. I like seeing people's setups. I like seeing people's bangers. I like seeing their, you know, the best of the best, I guess, as it were, as it were, if I may. First up, uh, I think, I think your name is pronounced Emil. Emil. So I'm going to call you Emil. And Emil, Emil sent this in. Emil says, daily banger at the moment, the Kizoyu tech mod, which I love, by the way, love it. I, that's been a white whale mod of mine for a while, that, that tech mod right there. He's even got, they even got it in the white there. Nitrous 22 millimeter RTA on top. Daily banger. Uh, he says, I love your videos, man. Unfortunately, I'm located in Denmark and I just became a dad, so I haven't been able to catch the live stream because of the time difference, but I will make it happen sometime. Best regards, Emil. Hey, listen, no worries. No no rush. Like, don't feel, uh, I'm not mad or sad or disappointed if people have real lives and like have to miss the streams. It's all good. We're still here. We're, st you know, we're still doing the damn thing. Don't apologize. Just make sure you watch the replay. That's all, you know, it's a simple little thing. You just just make sure you watch the replay. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm only half joking right there, but uh, that's a sick setup. We got another one here from, uh, who, who's this from? Jay King. I think he goes by uh, Jay King. Jay King over there in the UK says, Oi, oi, Nick. Uh, been a keen follower of you of yours over the years. Rarely get to see the lives as I'm in the UK, but always catch the replay. Uh, I've been off the oily rags for must be 12 or 13 years now. I am what you would call a hobbyist nowadays. Always on the lookout for new and great hardware or e-liquid to try. Pretty much buyed and tried everything from high end to your mainstream stuff. These are my daily bangers. From left to right, Billionaire Sweet Strawberry in the Zlim V2. Oxva. Fucking Abita. Oxva Unibox with the Nitrous RDA on top. Some Dr. Vapes Panther Black Custard. That sounds amazing. I love, I love Dr. Vapes. Finally, a Rebel Vape DNA 75 3D printed 21700 with another nitrous RDA and some Infernal Strawberry Apple. Uh, dig it. Dig it. Love it. Clearly, uh, you're cool with 3D printed devices, not like a uh, coil turd, Beecher Howard over there. Not okay with 3D printed devices. Not okay. In fact, when Beecher was here, he wouldn't even let me use a 3D printed device. I tried to pick up my boxer. He like slapped it out of my hand. He's like, get that shit out of here. He's tough. He's hard line about that 3D printed, like hard line, hard line 3D printed. Um, who's this person? Oh, this is Tribal Buddha. That's right. Tribal Buddha freaking sent in a, a what he's been vaping. These have been my go-tos for the past few months. 
from left to right. Oh, is this the right one? Hammer of God XL with Steam Crave Titan V2 41 millimeter RTA. Yeah, that's that's looming in the background there, right? Hammer of God DNA 400. No, this is the wrong picture. This is the correct picture. There we go. Hammer of God XL with Steam Crave Titan V2 41 millimeter RTA. The Hammer of God DNA 400 with the Vapors Cloud Trilogy RTA. Recognize it, Nick? Yes. That looks like something that I used to own, but now you own it. And an Ewin Vape E30 E pipe with X Vape X Promiser version 1.4 LE mouth to lung RTA on top. Tribal Buddha, classy, classy setups. Uh, second pick, left to right, Voorhees Custom Slimline Click Fet Mech Boro with Protocol Biohazard RBA. Uh, Geek Vape Weenax M1s, they're the work pods. Uh, Vapors Cloud 1111 Reborn with Immortal Mods Redemption 30 millimeter RDA, coded by the man Ashton Palmer of Palmer's Powders. Mother Trucking Palmer's Powders. Vapor's Cloud OG 1111 with uh, OG Dead Rabbit. Stormtrooper paint also by Ashton Palmer at Palmer's Powders. That's Palmer's Powders. Voorhees Custom DNA 100C, uh, 21700 Boro uh, with Kill Lab RBA by Killick Customs. I, there, you know, there's sometimes Tribal Buddha, you... Other people will just send me pictures of devices and products. It just sounds like gibberish words that don't make any sense. The Kill Lab RDA by Killick Customs. I've literally never heard of that in my life, but you have. You have, and that's the important part. Killick. Got one last one here, Assignment America. And listen, if you guys want your pictures of your bangers featured on this here live stream, send them on over to me. It's nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject assignment planet globe. Chances are I'll see the attachment. It'll get used and filed accordingly. But you can send them on over if you'd like to, because I sure would like to see them. We got last one here, Jake P. Mother Truck and Jake P writing in. Jake P says, hey, Nick, Jacob here. I'm new to vaping, about six months in. Six months in. That's unbelievable. I love it. Here's my first build. It's a Blotto single coil on top of the Freemax Maxis 200 with some mech sauce in it. It's fun learning how to build and even more fun being smoke free. My wife and I both. Thanks for the knowledge and cheers. Hell yeah, Jake. Six months, six months into vaping. I just assume that everybody who vapes right now has been vaping for like at least eight years at least eight years. I feel like there's no new vapors and that the only vapors that exist in the vape space still have been here for like the last decade. It's just nice. It's cool seeing someone who's like, oh, six months. I've only been vaping six months and here's my sick blotto and here's my sick build and I love it and I'm smoke free and everything's sick. I love it. So if you guys, again, want to send them on over to me, nick at Just mark your subject, Assignment Planet Globe. Assignment Planet Globe, and, and you know, you'll be... Clucking the chowds. No, clucking the chowds in no time. Uh, I think I saw some Super Chats come in. Perhaps? V8 over there on Twitch, you've been here a little longer than a decade? A little longer than a decade, yeah. Some of us have been here a, li a, little, a little longer than a decade. Just a little longer than a decade. Now there was one, okay, good. Thank you YouTube for finally keeping track of all of my super chats. Some of them used to just disappear. But we got Slater coming in hot with a super chat. My dog came in wearing a sparkling tutu singing the Golden Girls theme song. I can't even right now think of the Golden Girls theme song off the top of my head. It's got something 80s and like boppy and uh, probably about friendship and things like that. Uh, when he saw the relieved look on my face, he slapped me and said, not you, Nick, give him money. So here you are, Slater, Slater, appreciate you, even appreciate your, your freaking sparkling tutu wearing dog <laughs> in, in many ways. The great Seamus, oh, 
Ah, that's very gracious of you. Additional beer funds, because who doesn't need more beer? The only thing, the only people that I think don't need any more beer are the, the people that don't drink beer. Thankfully, I'm a beer person, so I will always, always use beer funds, bro. Always, Seamus. Hope you're doing well. Always a wonderful way to spend a Thursday. Keep on rocking in the free world. I guess, you know, I guess that's just what we do. Barbara Burgess, cuz, how are you? Shout out to Angus from Brother. He's in the hospital. Okay, well, this is not good news. That's not what I wanted to hear today. Brother is a, how would you describe them? A Scottish, like a Celtic band? They play loud didgeridoos and, and loud drums and, uh, you know, it's good shit. I've seen them a bunch of times. Fishy, boosh, it's Mother Trucking Vlog Day. Hope you all have a fantastic week and will continue to have an equally awesome holiday weekend. Much love to you all. That's right, it is a holiday weekend, isn't it? We got America's birthday coming up here. It's the 4th of freaking July. We're having some friends in town. We're going to have some pool days. We're going to do some barbecuing. Typical, uh, you know, typical American things on 4th of July. That's just what we're going to do. Drink a whole mess of beer, you know. <laughs> Celebrate the independence of our country by blowing up a small portion of it. That tracks. Ashley Smith, it's very gracious of you. Uh, I love your Disney villains tattoo sleeve. Can you show who you have on there? Oh, Ashley. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I don't, it's been a minute since I've done anything like shown any of the tattoos, but uh, this is Maleficent. This is where it started. Maleficent's just kind of rad. Uh, this is Maleficent's Raven up here. On this side is Ursula. She's upside down. On this side is Ursula, you know, from The Little Mermaid. You know, uh, Jafar is not done. Huh, flex, Nick, flex. Jafar's not done. He, he's he been undone for a few years now. Uh, Captain Hook is on the uh, the bulging bicep right there. Captain Hook. Captain Hook's slightly unfinished as well. He's got like some, hat, uh, some feathers in his hat. This was going to be, you know, combined up here, but... Uh, when you move 400 miles away from your tattoo artist, you, you know, you don't get the same appointments that you used to all the time. You don't get the same appointments. So I think it'll be a forever, forever slightly getting done thing, Ashley. But happy to see you here. Hey, welcome. Cool Tech Dreamer. Uh, Burp Life. I'm sorry. That was that was really very gross. Cool Tech Dreamer. How you been? Thanks for all you do. Legion sent me. Shout out all the cool kids in chat. Special shout out to... All the wastewater workers keeping stuff flowing and clean. You know what? You're right. Special shout out to all the wastewater workers. Wastewater workers are, it's like we would notice if they were all gone, but we don't think about them actively or thank them enough actively, right? Good good on you, Cool Tech Dreamer. Good on you, Cool Tech Dreamer. Frank! Frank! Just want to say, yo, yo, Nick, and everyone in the chat. Hope everyone's having a great Thursday. Oh, Nick, I DM'd you on Discord. I saw that. I got back to you, Frank. I emailed you back, or I DM'd you back, and I'll just tell you, easily done. Easily done. All your requests, easily done. Easily accomplished, buddy. Easily accomplished. We got one last one here from Jake Scrapwood. Uh, I feel personally attacked. <laughs> I feel personally attacked by Beecher now. Well, Jake. You shouldn't feel personally attacked by Beecher. Don't take it too personally. But one thing that you could do, you know, to correct this whole situation is just to make a sick, like, death metal cattle decapitation themed 3D printed mod for him that he has no choice but to use. He's going to immediately love it. He's going to immediately turn his whole worldview around on 3d printed mods you can change this tide jake scrapwood you you can change this tide <laughs> i have to show them all now uh you know here's the thing none of my other tattoos are really that super interesting uh these are some of my first tattoos that are just old that's optimus prime you know with above the Autobot symbol, Megatron. You're not going to be able to see this. Megatron. Above the Decepticon symbol. I was, uh, you know, still am really big Transformers fan. Grew up with the Transformers, and I knew I wanted the Autobot and Decepticon symbols tattooed on me. Uh, Mark, 
who ended up doing the majority of my work, my sleeve and and three tattoos on my on my lower half. This was his like apprentice work. Uh, he was just my buddy and I went to him and he was apprenticing and we're like, well, let's do Optimus Prime. He's like, okay. It turned out fine. You know, it's okay. It's not great, but I keep it because it's Mark's, you know, apprentice work. Apprentice work, you know? This is probably my favorite tattoo. I don't want to do make this tattoo cast. This is probably my favorite tattoo. Uh, it's a you know a woman's head, and she has one, two, three, four, five hands. She has five hands. I got that tattooed on me in t- 2018. Angel Rose, incredible tattoo artist. She tattooed the hell out of me, and uh, it's probably my favorite tattoo. Okay, fine. I have Neil Fallon from Clutch on my thigh. <laughs> That's it. No more tattoo tour. This ain't this ain't tattoo tour vlog yet. We'll get there again, maybe someday. Maybe someday. Um, let's see. Beer. What I've been vaping. We did assignment America. It's time to sing happy birthday. Let's sing happy freaking birthday. I can't believe it, but we're already to birthday time. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, including Gargamel, Clown, and Darth Vapor. Including Gargamel, Gargamel, Clown, and Darth Vapor. It's birthday time. I don't have any water. My freaking coldest water bottle is empty at the moment. I'm not going to be able to hydrate. I'm not going to be able to take my own advice and hydrate before I sing happy birthday, but... We're going to sing happy birthday, literally right now. They look drawn on with, with what did you, <laughs> what did you say? Those look drawn on in pencil crayon. I assure you they are, they are not. I, I had to sit through it and that's the worst part. And what's funny is with the exception of my hand, I don't think about the pain from tattoos after the tattoos done. Like a month later, you're all healed up. You're like, I don't even remember what it feels like to get tattooed. This I will never forget, never forget. This was the only tattoo I've ever got in my life where I like actively pulled away while he was tattooing me. He would get to some spots and I would like, I couldn't control it. It was like a reflex. I'd like yank my hand away. He's, you know, he'd like grab my hand, pull it back, keep tattooing, like hold my wrist down because I would like instinctively like like pull like stop it (laughs) like what are you doing what are you going there again stop it only time i've ever done that only time i've ever i've I've ever flinched like flinched away during a tattoo it's the hand it's the job stopper don't get your hand tattooed it's not worth it or you should get your hand tattooed because it is worth it all right let's sing happy birthday with my super dry unhydrated mouth zipo zipo well, I'm including you, Zipo. You're getting included whether you want to be or not. You put it out there. Hanging out there. All pink and naked. Okay. <clears throat> Happy birthday. I'm a big believer in birthdays. I like to celebrate them. I think they're important days. And I think on your birthday, you should get sung happy birthday too. It's like the oldest tradition in the world. We sing to people when on the anniversary of their birth. And I think that's a big deal. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to them. Happy birthday, dear Andrew. Andrew Ehring. Also Dick's inside a bush. Also Duchess, yeah. Also Kenzie. Also Gargamel Clown. Also Darth Vapor. Also z Happy birthday to you. Skip around the room. 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 It's your mother truck and birthday. Skip around the room. 
Happy freaking birthday, you guys. I, I hope it's a good one. I hope you, you eat, some, eat some good food, eat some cake, have a beer or not, have some shed time or not. It's true. These are it's it's a federal rule, I believe, Michael, and I'm not one to, you know, I don't want to mess with the federal government. So if you don't skip around the room, your birthday is canceled. It's actually it's true facts. My mom called me on my birthday. She said, are you skipping around the room right now? I said, yeah, thankfully I am. She's like, good. Then your birthday isn't canceled. Patrick Conquest is next week. Oh, don't don't you even worry don't you even freaking worry, Patrick Conquest. You're gonna get you're gonna sing happy birthday sung to your face. Just straight to your face. But happy birthday, you guys. Andrew Ehring, Dixon Ciderbush, Duchess Coils, Kenzie, Gargamel Clown, Darth Vapor, Z Poe. Damn. Happy birthday. I truly hope it's a good one for you. I tr- I hope the next year of your life is better than the previous years of your life. You know, that's all you can really. That's all you can really do sometimes. That's my wish. That's my wish for you. Um, here's the thing. What time is it? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. We're doing pretty good. We're doing all right. Um, Andrew Ehring was skipping. You know, if there's one person I was confident that would be skipping around the room, it was Andrew Ehring. I thought for sure Andrew's Andrew Aaron is is skipping around the room. Duchess might not be. Dixon Ciderbush might not be, but Andrew, I can, I'm going to put a star next to your name, Andrew. And that doesn't mean anything. It just means that I know that you skipped around the room. I, I can just tell. I can just tell you did. <laughs> um, so here's what we're going to do right now. Now we're one hour into the vlog. I can't believe we 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 already got this far. We're not running long tonight. We might not even run long tonight. That's crazy. This might be like a actual well timed out vlog. Um, we're gonna get into some news, and it's not news. It's not news. I have one little newsy item, and then we're gonna watch ten minutes of my patrons smoking stories. It, it's great. They're great people. It's wildly entertaining. And that's what we're going to watch. It's a 10 minute video. Uh, it's spectacular. I have to give a tremendous, tremendous shout out to uh, Frames Janklin Vapor, to Megs222, who's not even here tonight, uh, to, to Rhett and his beard, and to Delia and her hair, because these people, these, these, these complete strangers to me, basically. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, on a. Here, hang on. Before we even get there, these these people, these patrons of mine, you know, they really uh, the Patreon's been a really interesting experience for me. When I first started the Patreon back in 2017, it, 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 I just started it, not really even knowing what it would become or or what it would you know, morph into or how I was going to treat it or what I was going to do. I had some plans for like some bonusy things. You know, my wife and I were doing a podcast and we had little things here and there. And I started the Patreon and it was, and you know, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. A bunch of people signed up. It's been, it's been spectacular. It's been unbelievable. And I knew that I've, you know, I treated the Patreon like I kind of treated my YouTube in that I felt like people were going to join and hang out for a while and then be like, hey, I'm going to go now. Peace out. And then I'm going to go. And, and, and many people have done that. And then many, many other people are just in it. And, and we've created this like community of people that are just dope. There's no way around it. These people are just dope. And so months ago, last year, actually, I'll say this, last year, actually, we had a meetup in Las Vegas. A bunch of people came, we all went to Vegas, you know, Poon Sauce was there, and Sewer Rug was there, and and and, and Megs was there, and, uh, and uh, Will, Steel Valley Will was there, and uh, Nick, Mr. Stay Puffed was there, and uh, Rhett was there, and Dealey was there, and I was there, and we had a, we had a really fun, fun-ass patron meetup, Hang on, where did my, hang on, listen, there it is, okay. Uh, and we had a really great time. And then, so before, 
before that Vegas meetup, a few of the people were in Southern California already. And Megs flew to Southern California. And then so I had the bright idea of, oh, maybe I should invite these people over to my house. So on a very, very rare occasion, I invited, I invited some patrons over to my house and we hung out in my kitchen um, and we drank beer and we had some shed time. And uh, I got the bright idea very late in, I mean, not very late into the night, but later on into the night that like, I should have everybody come in here and sit at my desk and, and just tell their smoking story. You know, and I don't know how I'm going to use this. Yeah, still no travel vlog, still no video about Vegas, Poonsaw. Sorry about that, you know. But this is one step closer, you know. This is one step closer to editing to editing the Vegas, uh, the Vegas video. So we're, we're one step closer. And so I did just that. We were all hanging out. This is hours into us hanging out. There had been, I don't, I don't know how I can say this, lots of shed time had been consumed. Lots, many, many shed times had been consumed. And so I got the bright idea to do this. And so that's what you're about to see is everybody who is here just came in, sat down in my office, told their smoking story. I edited it together in a little bit of like a documentary style, you know, video. Nick has a bad memory. So this was pre-Louisiana in February. Yeah, this was last year. Didn't I say last year? I thought this was last October. Wasn't this October 2022? I believe this was October 2022, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, I'm listening. I have pre Louisiana. Yeah, I said 2022. I said last year. Vegas travel video last year. Megs and Dealey are trying to mess with me right now, and I'm not going to let them do that because this was October of last year, and uh, this is the this is the result of it. This is the this is the fruit of my editing labor. This is everybody. What do you mean? Nope. February. Vegas was last year, wasn't it? Or am I wrong? Am I wrong? February was Louisiana, right? It was pre-Louisiana. This was pre-Vegas. 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 Am I wrong here, dude? Am I wrong here, dude? I'm pretty sure this was pre-Vegas. Okay, but, okay. This whole time I had thought this was pre-Vegas. Okay, I'm wrong. That's fine. I don't mind being wrong. I can admit when I'm wrong. This was pre, I'm pretty sure this was pre-Vegas. Kevin, it looks like we're all confused because I feel like I'm being gaslit right now. Pre-Vegas has lost all meaning now, hasn't it? Okay, so pre one of the meetups that we did, which I'm pretty sure was Vegas, I don't think this was pre-Louisiana. Yes, yes, you're wrong. Well, fiddlesticks. What's up, AG? We're just trying to get figure out a timeline here for this. 100% wrong, no Vegas was our first meetup, but nope, it was pre-Louisiana on February of this year. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that Megs and Delia are correct. I noticed that Rhett hasn't like chimed in and he's saying, oh no, actually Nick's correct because he knows I'm wrong too. Yeah, you did, Megs. You didn't? I thought you, I thought you road tripped, okay. I don't have, we don't have time to do the minutia of the, of the yo-yo meetups. <laughs> but just know that at some point these people were in my house and I made them sit in front of my camera and tell their smoking stories. And it went really, really well. It went really, really well. And, uh, 
here, here it is. Here's the video. So everybody get ready. This might be before Vegas. It might be before Louisiana. Who, who can really tell at this point? You know, why, why bother being precise? You know, why can't we just say that Nick is correct? And then that's just the end of it. And that's fine. And that's just fine. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, here's the video. Here we go. One more, one more time. Sorry. Uh, here's the video. Clucking the childs. No, that's the wrong video. This is the video. Clucking the childs. Sorry, that was actually incorrect again. Here's the video. Clucking the childs. How many times can I get away with this? I'm sorry. This is the video. Clucking the childs. Did it again. Did it again. Damn. Seriously though, this is clucking the childs. Okay. Actually, this is the video. There are some patrons at my house right now, so they're gonna come in my office and you'll get to hopefully see their experience for the first time. They're gonna tell you their smoking story. All right, uh, what's going on everybody? Um, I'm James, uh, people in the in vape community know me as Frames Janklin. My name is Delia. My name's Rhett. Hi, I'm Megan, um, Meg's 222 as most of you probably know me. My journey is kind of, you know, probably similar to a lot of other people. Um, I started smoking, you know, around 18 or so, you know, a pack, maybe pack and a half. Okay. I started smoking later in life. I think I was in high school when I tried smoking and any opportunity I could get to steal cigarettes from my friend's parents or from a friend who happened to have cigarettes on hand. Um, I would just smoke casually as a teenager. When I got into my 20s, became a bit more frequent. I would buy packs of smokes occasionally for myself. Uh, primarily, it was smoking in social settings. I did enjoy um, cigars, cigarellos, those kind of things. And it was never something I did frequently, um, but enough that it was um, something that was a bit of an issue for me. I uh, started smoking when I was a teenager, I don't know exactly why. I think part of it was because I, you know, was just a product of the 90s and it seemed like a cool thing to do. Picked it up when I was probably about 15. I started smoking when I was 30 years old, mostly out of spite. I knew my wife since high school and she smoked off and on from the time she was a teenager till when we started dating and then eventually getting married and stuff and it was so hard for her to quit. My name is Delia. That I got a little resentful and was like, you know, forget it. I might as well start smoking. So I did. I got to the point where, you know, I was like, you know what, this is something I gotta stop doing, especially with my prior uh, medical history. Um, for those that don't know, I've had, you know, two open heart surgeries when I was younger in high school. And, you know, with that being said, uh, smoking is probably one of the last things that I should have been doing. So it's weird because I feel kind of ashamed admitting it. I always knew it was bad for me, but I liked it. I liked the feeling. I liked nicotine. It To me, it just didn't really seem much different from uh drinking caffeine so I kept on doing it even though I knew that it was bad for me um, having kids made me feel like I shouldn't be setting that example if I knew that my kids smoked cigarettes I would be uh, so disappointed in myself uh, for letting them think that that was an okay thing to do but even though I had kids I just kept on smoking I like I said I liked the sensation and I liked the effect of nicotine. A few years ago, my husband got into um, vaping. He hated that we both smoked and he was always trying to find a way to get out of it. And I tried the gum and I tried meditation and I tried the various methods that they suggest you try, that the organizations federal organizations and stuff suggest you try that are trying to squash vaping and vaping was the only thing that worked. Tried multiple other things, tried quick cold turkey, tried to find like maybe a patch or a gum and 
multiple things, you know, and eventually none of them really worked. So uh, my mom actually, uh, shout out to uh, my mom, because she was the one that actually turned me into onto vaping. Um, she was using, you know, ego clear misers from, you know, back in the early days. And somehow she was able to transition from, you know, multiple pack a day smoker to, you know, just, you know, using her vape to get her through the day and get that nicotine fix that she was looking for. And uh, so I ultimately tried it out, had multiple failed attempts because I just couldn't find the right device that worked for me. And then at a certain point, I think it was uh, Atlantis tank or something like that. One of the first like sub ohm tanks where I can get a little bit more vapor, a little bit more direct lung situation. And for some reason that just seemed to hit the mark for me. And once I found that, I kind of kicked the habit and ultimately just switched to, you know, vaping consistently within probably I'd say like a week or so. I started vaping. I can't even remember. It kind of was a gradual thing, but I want to say about seven years ago, I had a friend who had quit smoking using vaping and she was like, you should try vaping. It's pretty great. I love it. I started with a little ego battery tank with some strawberry liquid, I believe. And I used that thing for a long time before I got into more of the hobby market. Um, but I love vaping. Um, I am totally off of any sort of combustion like cigarettes or cigars. I have tried cigars since vaping and I didn't like it. Um, and vaping has definitely been a way to completely quit um, combustible cigarettes, cigars, those kind of things. And it works almost instantly. I did dual use for, I don't know, maybe a month, but it was every day I wanted the cigarettes a little bit less and I wanted the vape a little bit more. That's been it since I've been to the doctor since I quit. They say my lungs look great. I, I so I was dual using, um, for another two years. And then, um, just, uh, actually because of the pandemic and us trying to get, uh, to leave the house less, I decided that, um, going to the gas station or liquor store to get cigarettes wasn't, um, a good way to protect my family. So I just thought to myself, well, let me see how long I can exclusively vape. So I vaped, um, exclusively since then. So that was March or April of 2020 and, um, just been vaping ever since. Just the health benefits I've got out of it with the fact that, you know, my sense of smell within weeks came back, my sense of taste. I no longer am wheezing and coughing my lungs up every morning from, you know, all the nastiness that I was getting from the combustion. And it's just a better walk of life that I've been able to live and been able to make a lot of great connections and a lot of great opportunities have come out of that one decision. One thing led to another and, you know, it was a year or two into it, really got into the um, content that was being created on YouTube, of course, found Grimm and all the other uh, vape content creators at the time, and then kind of got the push to do it to my, myself, create my own vape sh stream that I do on Fridays with a couple of my buddies and, you know, really built our own kind of, you know, nice tight-knit community of people that, you know, are from all different walks of life. And, you know, we share, you know, this one thing in common, but yet we share many of these other things and we're able to connect from all over the world, from, you know, Australia to the UK to, you know, Canada to all across the United States. And it's crazy that we have been able to make all these, what were small connections that turn into these big, you know, relationships just from that one decision I made to quit smoking and find a safer alternative. You know, like I mentioned, my husband was learning a lot about vaping on the internet. And through that, he became part of the Grim Green community, Grim Green community. And, um, you know, through pa Patreon, we were able to um, chat with other followers and people that were uh adamant about about vaping and now i i get kind of a kick out of helping people that are curious about it that i run into in public where they ask me about it when they see me vaping i'm all for vaping i hope that messages like this reach open ears because this really is like 
We're in 2023 now. We should be beyond cigarettes. They shouldn't be a thing anymore. They're clearly not good for anybody, so. Vape on, and have a good day. Yeah, so that's it. I think I think I'm done. I have I have been rambling. Thanks. Bye. Probably one of the best decisions I've made, and I'd urge anybody out there to give it a check, an idea, and just check it out. So, cheers, everybody. Positive vibes. Chris by fives. Not only do I love vaping for the health benefits, but I love the community that I've become a part of and been able to find through vaping. Um, yeah, vaping was our common interest, but these are people I feel like I've known my whole life and are people that I have been friends with forever. So thanks, Nick, for bringing us all together and vaping saves lives. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> what a great video. What a great video. What great people. What great stories. What a great video. You know, there was, uh, I didn't give anybody any, uh, you know, prompt or anything. I just said, the camera's rolling. Just go in, go into my office, sit down, tell your smoking story, and then leave. And that's all, that's all I could have asked for. And I just, you know... I edited it together in a way that I just assumed that people would tell their smoking story. You know, the idea that you were smoking and then you wanted to quit and then you found vaping and maybe there was a little bit of a struggle there and then maybe you overcame it and now and, and vaping and you feel better and that's what I was expecting. And this just goes to show that just even out of the four people, just out of the four people that sat down, how wildly different everybody's story is. Everybody smoked for a different period of time or intensity level. People switched over a different period of time. Some people switched right away, you know, took a took deal, you know, she dual used for two years and there's no shame in that. That's just her journey. It's something that tobacco controllers don't understand is that it, it, it's a process and it's a journey because a lot of us have been smoking cigarettes for so long that that's what we're used to. And when we get something different, it's like, what, what is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. I'm just gonna smoke cigarettes. Maybe I'll use this. Maybe I'll dual use. Maybe I'll vape more. It's a process. And I just liked seeing all of the different, like wildly different stories between just four people. And I think that kind of just goes to show like how wildly different all of our stories are. And as wildly different as all of our stories are, I think we all have the same goal. Like we all have the same common we just don't want the harm. You know, that's all it comes down to. We like the nicotine. You know, we like the habit. We like the nicotine. We just don't want the harm. And I don't think that's a ridiculous thing to desire. I don't think it's a ridiculous thing to desire nicotine, but not want the harm from cigarettes. So I'm stoked on that video. I think it turned out super rad. I'm I'm probably going to make it its own YouTube video, but it needs to be re-edited because I didn't edit it very well. The, some of the cuts are a little bit jumpy. Some of the framing of it is a little bit weird. I wanted people to look like they were not necessarily just sitting at my desk. Like I wanted the camera angle to change a little bit. I didn't accomplish that very well. So it needs a few little tweaks and things done to it. And then I think I'm going to put it up on YouTube. I think I'm going to put it up on Twitter. I think I'm going to put it up on Instagram. And that's just going to be the start of like, hey, look at these normal ass people. We're just normal ass people. When, when I talk to, to Rhett's beard, we talk to each other like we're just normal ass people living our own, uh, you know, rich lives uh, and we all have our own journey. You know, we all have our own smoking journey. We all have our own quitting journey. We all have our own vaping journey. And, you know, I don't care if someone went from cigarettes to a disposable to a pod and now they don't smoke. Fucking A, you're a vapor, dude. And in the same breath, I, I don't care if someone went from, I don't care if you smoked for like a year and now you vaped for 10, you're still avoiding harm. Still avoiding harm. And that's that's the critical part, you know? That's the critical part. So shit, I'd like to do this again. Um, I like doing it in my office where I can control the lighting and the video and the sound and everything like that. Uh, I don't generally have people over to my house. That was a pretty, pretty rare occasion that that happened. But 
we might be able to do it. Dude, you are. You're just a normal ass dude. Like Rhett's beard, just a normal ass dude. I'm just a normal ass dude. Drip theory, you're just a normal ass dude. I know you are. I know that drip theory is just a normal ass dude with his own hopes and his own fears and his own things that make him happy and his own favorite foods and his own, you know, we're all just normal ass people trying to avoid harm, trying to avoid harm from cigarettes. And that for some reason, that's like some fucking weird foreign concept to tobacco controllers and to people like the world health organization. It, it blows my mind. I don't know how anybody could watch that video and then go, oh, well, you know, vaping is still bad. <laughs> how? 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 Anyway, I, I thank you again to Frames Janklin Vapor, to, to, to Rhett and his beard, to Delia and her hair, and to the very loud Canadian Megs. I had to turn her volume so far down in the mix. It's like it's barely even registering because she just speaks so loudly, but... Of course, I'm joking. Megs isn't that loud, but she is actually that loud. So it's whatever. Frank, you're normal. I've talked to Frank. I know Frank's normal. I know, you know, here's the thing. I've met and talked to a lot of you guys. And the vibe that I get from everybody that I come across is just, this is just a normal ass person. You're just a normal ass dude, you know? And for some reason, we all decided to quit smoking with vaping here we are, <laughs> you know, here we are, here we are. Um, so that's going to be it. That's going to be it for news and advocacy. Uh, I do have one more thing I wanted to share. Do you want to watch one more, one more quick? With me really great video. Sorry. I was muted there. Dangle clacks. really great video. Um, London tobacco Alliance on Twitter. They are really cranking out the uh, pro vaping propaganda and I like it and I like it a lot. I'm here for it. I'm gonna make sure this volume's all the way turned up. This is a great video because this is Martin. Martin is a nurse with over 37 years of experience as the tweet says and he explains why vapes are a fantastic tool for smokers looking to quit cigarettes. Listen to the words this guy says because he talks about being hung up on like his own preconceived notions of what vaping is. And he's like, I had to, you know, I had to get rid of that. He's like, I had to follow the science. It, the science challenged me, but it's important to follow the science and we need science-based medicine and science-based healthcare. And that's why we promote vaping. This is something that people like Mike Bloomberg, uh, Matt Myers, Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids, literally everybody at the Truth Initiative, Robin Koval from the Truth Initiative, um, Tahir Turk, everybody, every supposed academic and tobacco controller, this is what you need to watch. Get over yourself. I am probably like many of my colleagues, uh, someone who is very skeptical of things like Very people. skeptical. Because at heart you go, well, it's just a substitution. It's not, it, it's just, it, it must be as bad. I can't. But if you read the evidence, if you look at the evidence, and most of us as clinical professionals should be, all of us as clinical professionals should be evidence driven. You look at the evidence, look at the Cochrane Review, look at the work done by the Office for Health Improvement and uh, Disparities, look at the work done by NICE, and they all say, that the evidence is overwhelming in favor of clean nicotine as a much better alternative to smoking. I think the figure is something like 95% safer than smoking. Well, if, it, if it's 20 times safer than smoking, then why, are it, why should I be going off my gut feeling that it doesn't feel quite right? So I think we need to be evidence driven and that's what the evidence is telling us from absolutely uh, blue chip research organizations that tell us as it is. And therefore I say to all my health professionals, really promote clean nicotine, nicotine vaping as an alternative for your patients, your service users, the people you come in contact with every day and your families to make sure that they know that's an alternative that will save their life and improve their quality of life. Ha! Huh. 
Would you look at that? He had to get over his own like moral this this should be bad. This is supposed to be bad. They're just product substitution. Oh, wait. All of this evidence. Oh, wait. All of this evidence. Oh, wait. Even more evidence. Look at Cochrane Tobacco Addiction Group. Look at NICE. Look at all of the overwhelming high certainty evidence we have. That male nurse of 37 years had to get over his own stigmas around nicotine in order to help people not die. And that's an incredible thing to do. And I admire him just into the ground for being able to do that. And that's the thing that I don't think that Mike, you know, Mike Bloomberg and and Matt Myers and Robin Koval and all these anti-vaping organizations don't understand is if they change their mind, This is a good thing, and there's no need to be embarrassed. There's no need ever to be embarrassed for changing your mind in light of new data and new information. You can hold an idea or a thought your entire life, and then after 46 years, which has happened to me constantly, I just go, well, shit, I guess I'm changing my mind about that new new information, new evidence, new data. I, I have no choice. I, I have to change my mind. And, and I might have changed my mind, but at least now I'm correct about it instead of being wrong about it. You know, I think it was uh, the great uh, astronomer Carl Sagan who said something along the lines of, I, I, w- I, would rather, I would rather be in pursuit of truth no matter how comforting like the lies might be. No matter how, how comforting your train of thought might be, if it's not the truth, it's not going to be that comforting. It's just not. Anyway, good things. Hit that like button. If you liked that video, go ahead and hit the like button on this video. That really helps me out like a tremendous amount, more than you can ever even realize. So... Because I think this retro vaping segment's gonna take a little bit long, let's go check in on the super chats. Uh, Bennett, Bennett, that's very gracious of you. I just wanna say, hey, before I hit the road, but I'll be listening, visited the Dixon shop in Tempe, Arizona this morning. It was pretty cool. I'll have to send you some swag and a care package. Bennett. I will never turn down a care package of Dixon swag. Like, let me just be really super clear on that. I will never turn that down, Bennett. A hundred percent, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Eyes on the road. Eyes on the road. Uh, face meat, you know, it's it's just face meat and, and, and a dry oatmeal to you, sir. In fact, I'll say Kool-Aid pickles. That's what I'll say. Kool-Aid pickles, face meat. Kool-Aid pickles. Appreciate you, bud. Fishy. That's very gracious of you. That was awesome, Nick. Love you, and I love this community even more now. Yeah, that, well, thank you, Fishy. And that video, watching it um, and editing it, filled me with a lot of feels and, and made me feel a lot of pride for the idea that so many people have quit smoking, and then we're just, we're not stopping. We're just steamrolling down the road of getting people to quit smoking, you know? And so when they were here, I had them come in here, shoot these videos. And then I took them from the memory card and I just put them on a hard drive and I did not watch them. I did not watch them until Tuesday of this week. Didn't even, I perused like maybe four seconds of each one just to make sure the sound was good. And like everything looks okay. And I'm like, Oh, that'll be good. I'll use that at some point. I finally on Tuesday sat down and watched all of them back to back to back to back to back. And I thought, wow, this is this is really good stuff. Like this is really good, pretty powerful stories being told. And it filled me with all sorts of like pride and and just warm, mushy feelings all over inside of me. So, you know, I I love this community, man. I've been a cheerleader of this community for 14 years. I, I do not plan on slowing down anytime soon. This community is full of the best people I may have ever met. Some of the worst people I've also ever met but overwhelmingly the best people I have ever met. Fishy, happy to have you be a part of it. J Money Landshark, Boosh 9000, you didn't say anything you didn't have to. You never have to, man. Congrats on your new job, by the way, J Money Landshark. Appreciate you, pimp. Outlaw525, 
Grim, uh, you're the man. Love your videos and all your content. Got my first squank. And of course, it was the Empire. Can uh, we get with Red? Oh. Hmm. Red Empires, you say? Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Yes, quite. Uh, yes. I'm going to just go ahead and say yes. That's going to be a thing. That's definitely going to be a thing. Red Empires. Red Empires for all. Red Empires everywhere. And coming soon, you know, it's the green guy. It's the green with the black. This is going to be super limited edition, open to the patrons only first. But pancakes. Pancakes is delicious. Pancakes is delicious. All right, one more tribal, one more super chat from Tribal Buddha. Okay, it's time. Great job creating this community. I'm a better person just knowing you. Stop that, Tribal Buddha. Stop it. I say that about other people, so you're not allowed to say that about me. It's time. Great job. And you know, I don't know. I appreciate that, Tribal Buddha. I don't even know what to say. It wasn't my intention to, to do, I don't know. You know, I set off doing this YouTube thing with no plan, man. I didn't have a plan. I have no plan. I didn't know about branding or logos or bleh, any of that. I just started making videos and I put my vibe out there and whatever you put out there on the internet is what you'll get back. And so I knew that I was gonna get super dope people in my comments and super dope people in my Patreon. Like, I I don't know, I was confident in that. And so I'm, I'm happy to have you here, Tribal Buddha. That's what I'll say. I'm happy to have you be a part of it. Mike T206, that is a very gracious of you. Thanks, Nick, all you do for this community. I'm proud to say uh, I'll have six years later this year. You were an instrumental part of my quitting slash vaping journey, and I cannot thank you enough. Hashtag cool kids rule. Hashtag Mike T rules, bro. Six years, six years, six years, six years. I love it. I love that. Six years makes me just as happy as six months guy from the assignment planet globe. And it makes me just as happy as, you know, I talked to some patrons who've been at this just as long as I have 14, 13, 14 years. It's impressive. It's impressive because there was a time when I just assumed I would just keep smoking. Just keep smoking. What are you doing? Eh, smoking. <laughs> you know, what are you doing? Smoking. I'm just going to smoke, just smoking, just going to keep smoking. I never really envisioned a time when I wouldn't be a smoker. And so the idea that in 2023, I'm not just a non-smoker, but that we're trying to get as many people as we can to not smoke. And not only that, but we've kind of built this like community around not smoking. Like it's community around nicotine and not smoking cigarettes. Come on, that's just cool. That's just cool and fills me with all sorts of like, like I said, pride and, and, and mushy good feelings in my body. Now I'm almost done with the, the Misfits beer, damn it. Um, well, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go grab my water bottle real quick and we are going to get into some hot retro vaping action. Enough is enough. This is like kind of gonna be a double retro vape. Let's go. Sorry about that, sorry about that. Ah, I had to get my uh, Tron water. I call this Tron water. I don't know if I'm ready to tell the Tron water story. Oh, yeah, hydrate, Tron water. All right, guys, let's do some hot retro vaping action. So, like I said, this is gonna be a little bit of a if we have enough time, that is. You guys want to know what song I have stuck in my head? You guys want to know what song I have stuck in my head that's been stuck in my head for literally a month now? I think you already know. I think you already know before I even say it. Before I even sing it. Ooh, 
Don't tell me you haven't heard that song. You know, I used to think that when songs got overplayed on the radio, that that was like the worst thing of all time. It's like you're listening to the radio, you hear the same song like three times in one hour. You're like, God, you guys, how many times do I have to hear Smells Like Teen Spirit? Come on, overplayed on the radio. Now, now that everything's better because of the internet and social media, I get pummeled in the face by that fucking song every time I get on any social media ever. It's inescapable. It's literally everywhere. Literally everywhere. It's unescapable. And everybody uses it for everything. The song is about uh, a singer, this woman singer from South Africa. That's what the song is about. And then people use it in videos of their cars and uh, girls taking their tops off and Enough. Please stop using that song in your Instagram reels. Please stop using that song in your TikToks. I don't need to hear that song any anymore, ever again, anymore, ever again. Thanks and good night. Good night and good luck. Seriously. Retro vaping. Okay, so this RDA. Look at this little number right here. Anybody tell what that is? I don't think so. I think nobody can tell what that is. It's sitting on top of Boosh Overkill Mods. This is a dual 21700 series box. I have two. These are matching batteries. Trust me, they're both uh, Ohm Tech Ohm Lifes. Fuck normal. And so that means that this must be a series RDA on top. Must be a series RDA on top. It is. But the problem is, I don't know what RDA this is. On the bottom... It just says Nate Mods, Nate Mods, Nate Mods. And so I want to use this on a mech, and I have a vintage mech here as well, and we're going to put a brand new build in this. But in the meantime, this, this is my old series build. This is 24 gauge. I believe it's 24 gauge. Hang on, let me get my... Let me get my coils and try to, yeah, I think this is 24 gauge. I think that's 24 gauge. Uh, it's like a 19 wrap or something on there. Three millimeter. It's like a three millimeter 15 wrap or 18 wrap or something like that. And that's how I used to get to series. That's how I used to get to series. Aeolus? No, it's not the Aeolus. It's the, I don't even know, hang on, it might say on top. Oh, it's the, uh, s what the hell does this say on top? Uh, it's just a bunch of letters on top of the top cap and I can't make out a word. There's a T, an L, a C, an E, an S. What is that, a G? That's an O? It's the Olstic S Solstice 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 Solstice. <laughs> we did it. It's the Solstice RDA Solstice RDA. And this are yeah, like I said, three millimeter. So this should be series. Like I should be able to vape this on this box. And so yep yep. Woo. Look at that ramp up. That is immediate, immediate ramp up. So what I wanted to do was wick this, wick this, vape it on series, tear the build out of here, put another round wire build in here and vape it on a mech. How's that sound? I think that sounds just spectacular. Don't tell me you haven't heard that song. If you haven't heard that song, then you don't spend enough time on Instagram, which is probably a really good thing. Probably a really, really good thing. Ooh-wee. 
I'm going to use that in a reel now. I have no choice. And Instagram like forces it down your throat. I uploaded a reel the other day and it's like, you should use this trending song so that your reel gets more views. And I said, Instagram, no, I refuse. I refuse. Yeah, this is going to cluck serious chowds. There's going to be so much so much chowd clucking. It's uh, some people would say felonious. There's going to be a felonious amount of cloud chucking. Cloud chucking. Wait, what did I say? I meant I meant chowd clucking. Oh good lord, what am I new here? Cloud cloud chasing is so 2016. We cluck chowds now. That's what we do. So there was a downside to this type of build. I'm sure everybody is aware. Whoops. See, Murphy. <laughs> Murphy. This, look, look at this. Can I, can I see this dog? You can't see this dog. You can't, you can't see this dog. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. Murphy, what you doing? What you doing? You just hanging out. See, Murphy sits on the ground right behind my chair and like rests his head on like the wheels. So every time I move or shift, I'm worried that I'm gonna destroy him and like crush his head. It's just where he likes to lay. So the downside of coils like this is they're not great. They don't work well. They get uh, very, very hot in the middle and not as hot on the outside. And what that leads to is severe cotton collapse. Severe cotton collapse. And what I mean by cotton collapse is because it gets so hot in the middle, the middle of your cotton just burns. It just burns and collapses and kind of separates from itself. And so you get what looks like a fully wicked coil on the outside, but on the inside, your wicks are, are not even touching, not even touching. And that's why you get, that's why, you know, dry hits happen frequently when, when the cotton collapses. Um, uh, yeah, let's just go for some pistachio. Let's just go for some pistachio. Now we're going to pull this build out of here in just a second and run this on a mech. Sing along if you know the words. <laughs> Now this should have immediate and instantaneous ramp up. Yeah, that's insane. That's crazy. I don't even know what the resistance of this is. We should check it, huh? Ooh-wee. Oh, wow. This is a point four two. Point four two. That's really impressive to me for some reason. It the ramp up is so crazy quick. That's got to be the ma well, the wire mass, right? That's contributing to that. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be the wire mass. There's no fused claptons or aliens or anything happening in here. It's just round wire wrapped like, you know, a lunatic wrapped it. All right, so let's try this out on series first. All right. Warm. It's warm. <laughs> Whoa! Warm, hot, 
series build. Yowza. Yeah, 0. 0.42. That's what we ended up with. 0. 0.42. It's just the slightest drag. It's like not even a two second drag. Super warm flavor. Very delicious. I get the series. Like, I used to run series, I used to love series. No crackle, no crackle, literally just a hot, flavorful cloud. Oh, Ugh. yeah, that one really took it out of me. Yeah. Hang on. You haven't seen any, any chowd clucking yet. Wait till you see these chowds. See that child just clucking away right there, clucking away. Yeah, it's already hot. It's already a hot build. So we're gonna pull this ancient build out of here and we might need to grab some round wire. I'm not sure. I can keep singing the song if you want me to keep singing the song. Anybody have any requests? It's kind of sad seeing these coils come out of here. They've been in here for, I mean, literally like seven years, Maybe six years. Maybe these are like six year old coils. I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance. I'm not going to stop. Okay. Uh, let me go real quick, rinse this under the sink. And uh, I'll be right back. Hang on. Wait one second. And we got a bonus Schneeko content. We got bonus Schneeko content and bonus Murphy content. They want to do nothing else but go outside. They just want to go outside. But we don't get to do that for just a little bit, you guys, okay? So we're going to rebuild this in a normal. I did the original review seven years ago. Okay, if that's, that's the build from the review then, that is the build from the review. Okay, so the reason that I liked this RDA for series was the post holes are really far apart. And so I could get like wire and just wrap, 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 wrap a, a shit ton of wire on there. Get, get the resistance you need, you know? You get right up to the resistance you need. Now, if there's a, let's see, let's see. Here's the thing. None of these are going to be okay. I need cloud chasey coils. Yeah, here's what I need. We're gonna go for some Reds Rippers. I don't think these will reach this distance, but I'd love to use them. I could add a wrap, I guess. I think no matter what I do on this deck, I'm going to have to add a wrap. Yeah. I mean...
And you see what happens? You see what happens when you have a post holes that are really far apart? You get this like stretched out coil look. Let's see if I can add a wrap to this without completely messing it up. Ooh-wee! Makaba! Yeah. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. I'm going to go with it. We're going to add a wrap. This might raise the resistance up too much for a single battery mech. We'll see. We are using uh, Red's Rippers. These are Red's Rippers. This is the Ice Storm Alien V3. Boom Red's Rippers. Boom Ice Storm Alien V3 going to try to get these on here without freaking ruining the coil. Ooh-wee! And there's no music and that's it makes it even more awkward. There's no music, it makes it even more awkward. So I'm just going to try to continue talking throughout the entirety of this build, which is, you know, hopefully not going to take too long. I know Bogan's much faster than me at all of this. And you go under. In fact, I'm going to pre-clip this. Woo-wee! You love it. You love it. You love it. All right. One of these legs is sticking out a little bit too far, but I don't care right now. I'll worry about that later. I'll worry about that after I get them installed. Yep, you're too, you're too far too. Yeah, great. Two post deck just ruins coils. Just a coil ruiner. You wanted spaced coils? Too bad, you got them. You don't want spaced coils? Too bad, you got them. Yeah, Red's, Red, Red's rippers are, are legit. He, he's a legit builder. They're really good. Ah, I see I got a gift from uh, Schmurphy on my rag. Thanks. Thanks, fella. Okay, where are you? Are you under the desk? Okay. <laughs> yep, I'm just going to end up with spaced coils on this. Just no way around it. Okay, well, one side is not spaced. The other side is, so this should be great. This is not an easy deck to install. 0.17, uh, it sounds okay I guess for a single battery mech here on the Solace RDA maybe I need a little bit more than 15 watts to glow this let's try for 24 watts Ooh-wee! 
My, sing along. Come on, you guys. Sing along. Don't you love this song? It's, I, fi- I thought everybody loved this song. Everybody seems to use it on social media. Is this a thing that people are just using it because it's popular and not, nobody actually really likes this song? I would, hate, I would hate to write a song and have it end up on social media and then people end up just hating it. They're like, well, it's actually a pretty good song. It's like, no, nope, not after you hear the chorus 1,800 times in a day. No song is that good. There's not a chorus on earth that I want to hear 18 times a day. Don't care. Nothing's that catchy. All right. Well, look, we got some coils in here. They're not the prettiest coils. And they might be a little bit much, but this, what the hell even is this? Yeah, old school, baby. Old school. 18650, made in the USA. This is a Raj, Rajin mod, number 385. I couldn't even tell you what year this came from. 1516, easily. Plunger. Slightly dirty contact right there. Ultem insulator. Used to be able to move these up. I guess not. Super boring, 510 pin, 510 pin, 510 double pin thing. Well, I hope my, uh, I hope my contact makes a contact on that pin. I haven't given this a test run yet. Um, but hopefully this should work. Hopefully this should work. The Rajin mod. Rajin, I believe, was the one of the gods of, of wind. I think there were a few Rajin mods and Rajin uh, liquids and uh, atomizers throughout the years. Boop locking switch. That's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Plunger. Some engraving on the front. Bright orange mech mod. This is a classic... Classic mech mod, classic plunger, silver plated contacts. Ooh wee! No, still not. Nobody's into that yet. All right. Let's see if we can actually dry fire this. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. Nope, maybe not. Oh, was it firing? Am I just crazy? The, the mech of 10,000 threads. Okay, maybe not. Maybe this mech will just straight up not work. Damn, you know, that's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing with mechs. There's no battery rattle. It should, it should, by all intents and purposes, for all intents and purposes, be firing right now. Oh, the, the coils are warm. The coils are warm. Let's troubleshoot, you know? We got to troubleshoot. Maybe these contacts are just too goddamn dirty to actually fire. I should have really put some TLC and like cleaned up these contacts in here. Well, if it doesn't work this time, I'm going to have to go dig out another vintage mech, which isn't going to be easy, you know.
I got nothing. I got nothing. They are getting warm. This mech just is not firing. Yeah, okay. And my button's getting hot. Okay, so to prevent another... Uh, to prevent another hammer of God battery venting situation, we're going to have to say goodbye to the mech that never got used. The damn Rajin mech. Well, I was looking forward to vaping you, Rajin mech. But you will not fire and get in a hot button, and that's just something that I never want to deal with. If you have a mech and your button never gets warm, stop it. Stop it. Stop whatever you're doing. Just stop it. Stop it. it. Might be too much for an 18650. It's not my battery is nice and cool though, but my button is warm. And I know I mean I know that means it's not getting a good uh a good contacts. The contacts are bad. Bad contacts. Um Let's grab the most old school vintage mech that I have. This one. What up? One of a kind rig mod. Anybody remember rig mods? Rig mods were like, you know, quintessential American mods. Quintessential American mods. But it did have that stupid double pin. So let's see if we can get this to work. Ah, success. Ha. Ah. Rig, rest in peace. You never let me down. You never let me down, James. Yeah, it's firing. It's firing good. There's a bit of a ramp up on it. Because we ended up a little bit high of a resistance. You know, we ended up a little bit high. Yeah, contacts and threads need to be cleaned and contacts need to be adjusted. Yeah, I spent literally frames. <laughs> I dug that mech mod out of a box and I was like, this should work. You know, <laughs> this should work. Doesn't work, man. Doesn't work. Yeah, there were a few like quintessential US mech mods. You know, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to single anybody out or leave anybody out, but it was like, for me, it was like rig... Rogue, Kennedy, that's it. Rig, road, rig, rogue, Kennedy. That was uh, American mech mods in action. Rig's not around anymore. Is Rogue still around? J Mark, Rogue still around? For some reason, I don't think so. Uh, we're just going to be wasting a bunch of cotton right now. Because it's time. It's time to waste. And the rule is, if you pull off too much cotton and you, and you can't get it in there, you just keep trying. <laughs> just keep trying. It, it, it also, my cotton pro tip that I found that works pretty well for me is when it won't fit in, I just go... And then it works and then it just goes right in. Okay. Now, this side. See, I'm trying to waste as little cotton as possible. I know Megs is yelling at full Canadian volume at her screen about cotton wasting. Full Canadian volume. Ooh-wee. 
It's too much. I know. Shut up. I know. It's okay. You don't need to tell me twice. I'll just shut up. But look at what we got happening. The coils kind of corrected themselves out and became a lot less spaced. I apologize. I don't have my other camera set up right now, so I can't get you a hot macro action, macro shot action of these. But comp, uh, yeah, I mean, we can, you want to include AV life in the American mech mods? I guess you kind of have to, right? It wouldn't be fair to leave a Merivape out of the rankings. But a Merivape became AV, which stood for Avid Life. And then when AV inevitably, you know, because of the multitudes of toxic people that worked there and owned that company, they uh, immediately broke up and spun off into Continuous Current. And then this company, Continuous Current, was releasing what was the Manhattan, but they didn't call it the Manhattan. But it was basically the Manhattan. It was like the Manhattan V2. Man. Sometimes I think about early vape drama that like captured my attention, and I think back and I go, what the fuck was I even doing? Why did I even care? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Just wasting time. Boom! I am excited about this really bad wick job. I'm excited about this half-assed build job on a really big two-post deck. Two-post decks were never my favorite. Two-post decks were never my favorite. Because maggots! Maggots! The maggots are falling like rain. Maggots! 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 Ma, 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 maggots. Dun, 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 maggots. Dun, dun, dun. The maggots are falling like rain. Look at that. Just jumping to life. Just jumping to life. Okay, so substantially different. Substantially different vape than the... Uh, <laughs> than that series build on there. This is going to have to end up on a regulated guy, isn't it? I can just sense it. I can just tell. Um, I don't think I ever set this combination up of the Solace RDA on top of my one of one super limited edition V1 rig 18650 mech mod, which by today's standards, this should be a 21700, you know? That's one of the things that's like, I, I, I miss James tremendously because he was a great guy and he always had my back and I always had rig mods back. But I miss James because I know like the 21700 mechs that rig mod was going to produce, they, they were going to be dope. There's no way, like they just were and now we don't get them and that's sad. And obviously it's sad because James has passed away. But it's also very sad because you know, James was going to do so much more in the vape space, in the vape industry. It's like, damn, just gone too soon, you know? Gone too soon. Cheers. Rest in peace, James. Let's hit this. So a substantially cooler vape, <laughs> substantially cooler vape than that series. That series was like instant, like just immediate. You press the button. Ah, this, this is the world's longest drag. Ready for this purge? Still very, very flavorful. Still very, very voluminous uh, amount of chowd clucking. That's literally all I can take into my lungs. 
It's the biggest drag I can take into my lungs. All right, let's try this not on a Mac real quick because I want it to be good. I don't have, hang on, hang on, I'll be right back. Let me get uh, get something that's not a single 18650 Mac. Yeah, who said it was gonna be piddly? Who said piddly? Spot on, whoever said piddly, spot on. Here we go. It's like a little bit of retro vaping right here as well. Boosh 9000, did you guys see BMI's back? Did you see Beast Mode's back? Boom. This is the BMI Touch. They used to be a vape company and now they are a cannabis company, which is cool. It kind of looks like they took this mod, the BMI Touch and just Changed out the 510 connection, changed out the chip to be like a heating chamber. There's a little ceramic pot in there. You dump flour in, you set your temperature, you vape it like it's a BMI. Could be kind of dope. Could be kind of dope. I'm going to see if BMI, you know, anybody at BMI still remembers me. And if not, I'm going to have to go buy one of these mother truckers. Ooh-wee, makaba, makaba, ni makaba, ba 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 Makaba, 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 dibba dibba. Woo wee. Yes, BMI. God, what a great device this was. Yeah, that's even that is this is a this ended up being a point one eight. This is seventy watts. Seventy watts. Fine. Perfectly serviceable. It could even go a little bit higher. I can't believe I was trying to run this on a single 18650 mech mod. Why didn't anybody stop me? Das Vapor, why didn't you stop me? New Wave Dave? Should have stopped me. Uh, this could definitely stand to handle a shit ton more wattage. I know. Slide to unlock. Let's give it at least 10 more watts. 80 watts. 83.4 watts. Final answer. Let's pop and paint. Because it's a two post. So you kind of have to. <laughs> no, Andy, no. <laughs> no, Andy, no. <laughs> bearded, the bearded Loriden. That's not the BMI we're talking about. Body mass index isn't, shouldn't, okay. I don't want to go too off the rails here, but BMI body mass index is just a, a bullshit thing that is not real. It's just stupidity. It's just dumb. It's 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 a standard that doesn't even really need to exist. It's based on not much. You can have someone with a really high BMI be in incredible shape, and you could have someone with a really low BMI be a very unhealthy, unphysically fit person. BMI doesn't really mean anything. It's, it's just a thing. It it's not real. It's not real. This BMI. Beast Mode Industries is what they called themselves. They were very real. We did a limited edition. This is actually the one of one. We did the other ones with the Grim Army on there instead of the big Grim Green head with the, you know, the sunburst behind it. This is a one of one. Look, the Solace RDA, maybe this is the last time it's going to come out into the retro vaping. We put, we, I don't think this is the first time this has come out into the retro vaping, hasn't it? Slight, slight crackle, slight crackle, Michael, slight crackle. Yeah, the real BMI, your body mass index, pointless, useless, completely, completely useless. Don't bother. Yeah, exactly. Check atomizer. <laughs> I have a shitty BMI, but I can still bench a Volkswagen. Yeah. 
That's why BMI doesn't mean anything. BMI is not a, a gauge of like how healthy or unhealthy or in shape or out of shape you are. It's just, it's like an arbitrary thing. It's like just measuring someone's hair and being like, yep, you have long hair. You're healthy. Oh, you have short hair. You're healthy. It's like, well, yes, you're measuring something, but that has nothing to do with, you know, so don't, don't, don't even trip about BMI, FBMI. The flavor is pretty good. The flavor is pretty good. By today's standards of RDAs, um, it's fine. It's pretty fine. I don't love two post RDAs like this because I can't really bleh my liquid, at least in any you know any way with confidence. Flavor's good. Airflow's good. Shit. All right, Solace. Solace kind of holds up. Yeah, BMI, a uh, burning more indica? Sure. Bowel movement intensity? Okay. Now, bowel movement intensity sounds like a, like a porno grind band. Just saying. Sound, they sound, that sounds like a porn grind band. I'm just trying to eventually get this to 90 watts. We're at 88.7. 89. All right, 90 watts. Final answer. Let's try this. 90 watts. Yeah, I mean, it's don't get any crackle, but I still get some good flavor. Michael CC, Nick, do you remember an expo in Dublin in 2017? We met and I spoke about a sci-fi called Red Dwarf. I was then a reviewer called Vapor Manx. I'm still vaping. And I went, oh, hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, I remember Dublin. That's kick ass. You know what's funny is I still have not watched Red Dwarf. Still haven't watched Red Dwarf. You know? I mean, you can drip theory. You can bleh into a two post, but it's not as accurate and precise as I would like it to be. And it doesn't fill me with a great deal of confidence. All right, Solace, off you go to somewhere else, to not around me. It's fine. It's fine. Ultimately, look, it's fine. That, that, that doesn't have a whole hell of a lot going for it, you know, unfortunately. But, but it came out, it came out in that... It came out in that time when you could release anything and it would be popular. Anything and it would be popular. Uh, Super Chats? Anything and it would be popular. You could sell a, a thousand of those. You could sell two million of those things before word got out that they weren't that good, you know? That they weren't that good. Uh, let's see. Where did I leave off? Trapped Musings. Uh, Trapped Musings says, need advice? Uh, in Australia and future proofing, three main things left are a mech box, a mod that doesn't mind being dropped, and a regulated squonk. I got four stubbies, so I figure an empire, then a clutch beater. Yeah, a clutch would be sick. If you really want a mod that doesn't mind being dropped, literally like the Geek Vape Aegis or the Aegis Legend are... IP68 dustproof, waterproof, shockproof mods. They have big rims of like rubber, you know, material on them in the hand. There's rubber everywhere. It does not mind being dropped. I think it enjoys being dropped. I think that Geek Vape encourages people to drop their Aegis, you know, their original Aegis or the Aegis Legends. Um, that'd be a way to go. I'm never going to dissuade someone from buying an Empire. Uh, it's a banger. Clutch. A clutch would be sick. A, a clutch would be very, very low maintenance. A clutch would last you a really long time. A really long time. Good luck, Trapped Musing. Good luck. Good luck in Australia. I, I, I'm inclined to believe that things might change in Australia, but I'm also, I also live in reality. So future-proof yourself. Future-proof yourself. Tom, 
That's very gracious of you. He says, hey, Nick, I got 10 years this month. You were with me all the way. Thanks so much, brother. Never stop. Finally joined Patreon last week. I love you all. Tom, fucking A, thank you. Welcome to the party, pal. Let me be the first to say yo, yo, a to ya. And congrats. 10 years. 10 years. A decade of being smoke free just because of nicotine. Just because of flavored nicotine. That's it. Just flavored air. Got you off cigarettes. That's spectacular. Uh, Nick, what happens when you're making plans? Life. Yeah. Oh, fishy. That's, that's, I do wholeheartedly believe this is what you were meant to do. And we're also very thankful and grateful that you were the one to help us. Thank you into the ground, sir. Fishy, thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't know what what I'm supposed to be doing here on earth but I also kind of wholeheartedly believe that this is what I what I'm supposed to be doing I I feel uh good doing what I'm doing it's not without stress you know and it's not without bummer times and it's not without a lot of frustration and anxiety but I, I, I I've never had a cause before I've just never had a cause before. And now that harm reduction, like tobacco harm reduction has become my cause, it's just the hill I'm going to die on and I don't ever picture myself doing anything else. I just don't. So fishy, thank you. I mean, that really, really means a lot to me, man. Thank you, fishy. Country boy drips. Uh, out and about, missing the live, but yo yo, mother truckers, listen, country boy, you can be here, you can be there, you can be out and about, you can be driving in your car, you can be doing whatever. Maybe not like underwater. Dude, you're not missing. You, we're here. You know, we're here. You pop in, say hi, pop out, all good. We're here, bro. Yo yo to you, country boy. Uh, Ray, is this Ray? Is this Ray buildable? This deli tray is unacceptable. Love you, bro. Hey, Ray, any fan of Guar? I am a fan of that person that is a fan of Guar. And then the wee baby Seamus. Where, wee baby Seamus? Who do you think you are? <laughs> maggots? Oh, maggots. <laughs> They're falling like rain. Maggots. 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 Delirium tonic. Tonic. Tonic is falling like rain. I've never been into drugs, but after seeing all that crack when you were looking for a Mac, all bets are off. Uh yeah. Love you too. Nailed it. I nailed that cue. That was perfect. Was it a lot of crack? Was it too much butt crack? Here's the problem with my body is I hate it and I have a really long torso. So I'm six feet tall and my wife and I have the same exact length of legs. When we stand side by side, our hips meet up and our legs are the same length. And then all of my height is in my torso. So when I bend over at the waist, it's like a tree falling. I'm like, oh, you know, it just this big bendy thing. It's all up here. And so the problem that I have is T-shirts tend to go to about my belly button most of the time, you know, and maybe to my waist if I'm lucky. And so no matter what I do, I just lean a little bit, turn, stretch, squat. It's like I might as well be naked. Doesn't even matter. Clothes don't fit me. T-shirts don't fit me. Pants don't fit me. It's like, who who wears like a 34, 29? Yeah, me. I have a 34 waist, 29 inch inseam, but I'm still six feet tall. You deal with that body for 46 years. You'll be showing your butt crack to everybody. <laughs> Appreciate you, Delirium. Uh, Dee Dee, damn it. A little late to the vlog tonight, and I just watched your patron's vape journey. Loved it. Our journeys may be different, but our goals are the same Vape on, people. Vape on. Dee Dee, damn it, yes. I'm glad you liked the patron's journey, and I agree. Uh, that Editing that and watching that. My nose is plugged? Editing that and watching that really made me think I could make a documentary. You know? 
I think I could travel country and interview people and make a pretty compelling documentary. It lit, a, it lit a little fire under my ass. I'm trying to think of like the next big thing. It's like, oh, yeah, sure. Grim Green is doing vape reviews and sure pods ranked, I guess, and vlogs and live streaming and we do the build stream. And But what's next for Grim Green? Maybe it's a self-funded, shot, edited and produced documentary about how the FDA failed us. No one's telling that story and it needs to be told. Trapped musing, fully charged battery in the keen, we rewick the pyro, bottle with pistachio delight, on the label on bench to open, yeah, pistachio delight. What do you mean? Why is that a question mark, trapped musing? Why is that a question mark? I'm just kidding. I just really like pistachio delight. I love it. It's vaping right now. You want to vape it together? Pistachio delight. Get out of here. That's delicious. Uh, and then we got one more from Matt. Here we got one more from Matt here. Uh, from my first blue to Ruby Roo and through 2022. I don't know where I'm going with this. Here's a cheers to 10 years and beers. <laughs> Hell yeah, Matt. Here, I'll toast you with the very last of my Misfits beer. Cheers. Mm. I could drink another one of those right now, Tribal Buddha. I could probably drink another three of those literally right now. Matt, appreciate you. Thank you for that super chat from the first blue through Ruby Roo through 2022. You were really onto something there. You, it was like a Michael Scott moment where you're like, oh, this rhymed. This rhymed. I could keep this going. And then you're like, ah, never mind. <laughs> I don't know exactly where I'm going with this. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. I re very appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. Oh, good Lord, we have lots to do. Well, we're not getting to know Grim Green tonight because one thing that we have to have to do, it's sitting right here. Uh. Okay. Okay. It's probably better that we're not going to run super long tonight. I'd like to, like, I've been neglecting my dogs. They've just been wandering around the house all day. I'm like, I'm sorry, you guys, it's vlog day. I have a lot of stuff to do. I got a lot to prepare. I can't go outside with you. So after this, I'm going to take them around the block. We're going to go outside and run around like idiots for a little bit. And uh, should be, should be good times. Should be good times. I don't have a trash bag. You know what they say? Oh, well, <laughs> you know that old saying? Oh, well, don't have a trash bag. Oh, well, we're going to get into some mail. This is uh, from Aspire. This is from Aspire, and I requested this from Aspire. Yes. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to do like a re-review of this, but I, I requested from Aspire uh, a CyberX, another CyberX, because I took this to Switzerland with me and I was loving it, loving it, using it, loving it, using it, loving it. And then for some reason on the train ride through the elevation, my pod leaked and it leaked into the battery and it killed the battery and it killed the auto switch. And I was bummed, bummed. I still keep it out. It's on my desk. It doesn't vape or anything. I just like it. I like this little pod and I like the indentations. So I wanted to uh, give the Cyber X another, like, you know, run, run, run through the, run through the bushes. Is that a term? Is that a term? I want to give the Aspire Cyber X another run through the bushes just because I felt like it died too soon on me. And I think it's a really good pod and I'd like to include it in like the pod rankings and see how it shakes out because I didn't get to directly compare this with a lot of other pods. It died, it died before, before it was due. It died before it was due. So I got another Cyber X. Uh, I'm going to keep the orange one. Maybe I'll give away the pearl one a little bit later, you know, hashtag uh, to the yo yo, you know, the yo yo gets the brunt of my, of my giveaways. DHD Double Helix Designs is here. Spectacular. 
Shouldn't you be tattooing somebody right now? Shouldn't you be drawing? <laughs> uh, of course, I'm just kidding. Of course, I'm just kidding, Jess. Of course. But seriously, shouldn't you be drawing right now? Or at the very least, playing Tears of the Kingdom? Go play Tears of the Kingdom. Or, or not. I'm just kidding. Stay here. I don't want you to leave. I don't want you to think I'm going to leave. Well, ain't that a damn thing. All right. Well, uh, on the heels of the wildly successful pop reel, which I didn't think was very wildly successful, there is the pop reel C from UL pod system. Would you just look at that? Look at this. What is this? It says wholeness for harmoniousness. Let me ask uh, the question, chat. Is harmoniousness a word? Is harmoniousness a word? Would you ever say something like, I, you know, I really like that movie. I just love the harmoniousness of it. Is that a word? If that's not a word, then I'll, I'll, I'll admit. I mean, if that's a word, I'll admit that I'm wrong. But I feel like harmoniousness... It's just kind of a made up thing. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, all this needs to do is vape well. Holy cow, would you look at that. Magnetic pod, magnetic cover. That's kind of slick. The lanyard hole right there. That's super sketchy, super loose and magnetic, but you get a nice little cover, magnetic cover. That is really satisfying to like take off and put back on. Like you're like, oh, I need to check my liquid level. Dope. You just drop this on here and it's magnetic. That's kind of slick. That's kind of sick with it. If this does uh, a good mouth to lung, like this has the Profox one ohm coil. So it should theoretically do a mouth to lung. All right, here's the thing. I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to wait for the review to start getting this set up. But there we go, you well. The pop reel C. Because pop reel, I guess. But wait, there's more. Yeah, yeah. And... There's even more after this. There's one more after this that I believe came from uh, Rocco. Yo, yo, Rocco. Uh, just remember to cut towards your vital organs with a knife. That's the... All right. <laughs> what? All right, well... I guess today was the day of pods because why do why do companies why do companies name things bad? Why do companies name things good like dumb things? The Smoant Levin? L E V I N? Is that Levin? The Smoant Levin? 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 <laughs> The Smo Ant is leaving. Let's get a look at this monstrosity. I don't know why vape companies make the decisions that they make, but I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here to judge them. It's just weird. It's just weird. It, it's like half shiny, half textured at the bottom. Like there's a clear line. It's like they couldn't decide. They had a board meeting and they had one mod that, you know, one battery that was all media blasted and one that was all smooth and they just couldn't decide. And they're like half and half. Make it half and half. We'll satisfy the media blasted people and satisfy the smooth people at the same time. Half and half. It's just a really simple pod, USB-C, rubberized on the bottom. It's cracked to fill. You love to see it. Although that's not a very good crack to fill. 
You know, Smoant, they try their best, man. They really do. They really do, but I don't think that Smoant has ever hit anything, like, really far out of the park. I've never been blown away by a Smoant product. I know Dealey is all about the Battlestar, the Smoant Battlestar. The Smoant Leaven. Lightning? You're gonna tell you're gonna look at me with a straight face and tell me that that says lightning. It even up here it says leaven kit. Wait, hang on. Leaven. Leaven. Maybe it's like e leaven. Like there's supposed to be an e over here and it's supposed to say eleven. No, but that would be spelled incorrectly. This says leaven. And even if it does say lightning, it'd be le lightning in. Leaven. That says leaving. There's no way around that. That that's that that says leaving. All right, Rocco Mac. All right, Rocco. Be careful opening. Yo yo. Should I open it from the bottom, Rocco? Because I don't know how to be careful. I'm just telling you right out of the gate. I do not know how to be careful. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Sing along. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quiet. <laughs> Should I read this out loud? I'm just going to do it because it's funny. Uh, yo, yo, Nick, listen, here's the thing. You do some stuff and we appreciate the stuff and that's, we appreciate the stuff that it is that you do. There's people and then there's people are cool kids and we love the cool kids. Shit, yeah, Rocco. I've really well said. Seriously, in this box, just a couple tokens of my appreciation for all you do for this community without finding your videos and wasting literally the entirety of a weekend binge-watching old vlogs. I may still be on the stinkies. By the time you read this, I will be four months free from nearly three decades of smoking. Four months free. Four months free from nearly three decades of smoking. Could you... Rocco, hell yeah. Hell yeah, Rocco Mac. Hell yeah. Uh, without your videos, uh, without your videos and your incessant pandering for patrons, kidding, of course, uh, link is in the description, I wouldn't have discovered the cool kids or the stooges or DIY mixing or have a desk full of vape gear and my wife constantly hands me about spending money on. So really, what you've done for this community is immeasurable and the little stuff in this box can't, box can't possibly come close to repayment for the lives saved, including my own, because of the information in your videos and the community that you've built. I can't thank you enough. That's messed up, Rocco. I wasn't prepared for that field trip. unprepared for that field trip listen i mean thank you rocco i don't know i don't even know i don't even know what to say other than thank you and, and you're welcome and you know it's a labor of love man like it, i i think i'm more addicted to people telling me that they quit smoking than i am to nicotine i just crave it <laughs> you know when someone like Rocco says, hey, I I watched your stupid YouTube videos and because of your stupid YouTube videos, I haven't smoked a cigarette in four months after smoking for 30 years. That's everything, man. That's That's everything. That's everything. That's all I'll ever need. You know, the 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 endorphins that I get from that. Are, are intense and severe. So thank you, Rocco. P.S. I'll give you a hint as to what's in the box. I had our super friend, our super Townsend friend, Nick Hill, more commonly known as Nick's tips on IG, whip up a little something for you. Careful with the black envelope. 
What's in there is super rare and literally impossible to come by these days. Enjoy, my friend. Hey, hey, Nick, love you. Hey, Rocco, love you, bro. Is it? And can I ask, is this your actual handwriting or is this from a printer that you made look like handwriting? Because if this is your actual handwriting, it's basically a font. I can't see any paper, like pen marks on here. Rocco, I need to know if that's if this is your real handwriting or not. I need to know. I need to know. Ooh wee, baka ba, maka ba, maka ba. Ooh wee, ba, maka ba, maka ba. Ooh wee. Oh god. What the what? What the what? I mean, shit. Fuck, this is cool. This is the cool, this is cool. That is cool. That is just cool. It's a Lego Mando minifig and a little Dingrogu minifig encased in like per perfect, perfect resin, like perfection resin and a 510 connection on top. So this can be an Addy stand and it's art. Come on. Come on. That's some cool shit. Tell me that's not cool. You can't. That is wicked. That's wicked rad. The green ooze glow. The green ooze glows. The green ooze glows. The green ooze glows. Look at that glowing green ooze. You guys can't appreciate this. Like IRL, that looks super dope. I wish I could leave it like that. Dude. Seriously, thank you. Nick, Nick, Nick's tips. Shout out to Mother Trucking Nick's tips. Let me make sure that that's the correct. Uh... Yeah, Nick's tips. N-I-X underscore tips on Instagram. Next tips. That is sick. Sick. That is sick as tits. Should I turn the lights off? You want me to turn all the lights off? Uh, I can definitely turn like this light off. Ooh. Hang on. Hang on. Let me try to turn this light off. Ooh. Look how cool. That's badass. That's just badass. I literally love everything about that. That's rad as hell. Rad as hell. And it glows. It continues glowing. Look how green glowing goo. And there's like little rocks in there. And it's wood on the bottom. And it's some fucking Mando minifig. I love this. I love this. This is like, this is, this is amazing. This is amazing. Nick, Nick, Nick. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. You're an artist. This is art. This is awesome. Initially, I thought it was going to have like a drip tip thing on the bottom. So it was like, boom, here's your big dorky drip tip, Nick. And there was going to be a hole in the top. You know, you can see the vapor like go through it. Look, this, there's an idea for you, Nick's tips. Holy crap. Thank you, Rocco. Thank you, Rocco. Thank you, Nick. That is so sick. That is so dope. That's dope. That's like the dopest thing. I almost want to baby it. Like, I don't know if I want to put like a 510 on here and like scratch the top or something. What are you crazy? Okay, so this is the super, uh, super rare item. Oh my God. Get out of here. Stop it. Stop it. Rocco. 
Stop it. Yeah, put the Sith on here. That's where the Sith kind of needs to live. Nick, this is fantastic work. This is fantastic work. That is busting. Seriously busting. This, wait till you see what's in here. What is that? Tickets to Hell Track? <laughs> the BMX Championships? Scheduled for March 21st, 1986? 86, even signed by Duke Best. Duke Best. Dude, I'm going to Hell Track, you guys. Who's coming to Hell Track with me? Proud part. This is amazing. This is unbelievable. I love this so hard. Duke Best. I got Duke Best signature. General admission, 10 bucks. Damn. I don't know. How did you even part with these, Rocco? Yeah, I'm going to immediately, these are immediately going to go on my poster. Like, I want to put them, like, right here. But they won't. Ah! Careful, careful. These are rare, you know? I need to I need to find a way to attach these. I need to find a, a damage-free way to attach those because the bottoms of these are even perforated, so it's like that could accidentally tear off. And I don't I don't want that. That's the coolest shit ever. Rocco, that's like you just like bro, rad. That is rad as hell. Hang on, read the back. The most diabolical combination of jumps, turns, and obstacles yet created tests the world's best BMX riders. $100,000 and a brand new 1986 Chevy Corvette are up for grabs for these young professionals, but it's more than cash and prizes that challenge these racers. A 25-foot wall stands in the way of glorious victory. Spectator rules, no flipping off any members of management, no eating popcorn out of other people's cups. <laughs> No helping Mike Moran to get back up. <laughs> oh my God. No, no encouraging riders to do backflips or 360s. Bart Taylor groupies must remain in the designated green zone for maximum exposure. All mothers of riders must remain calm and reserve their disapproval of bicycle races <laughs> until after the competition. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is... This is serious, truly and honestly one of the coolest things I've ever received in my life. Maybe ever. How how did this even how is this even a real thing? Hell track tickets? Hell track tickets? That's unbelievable, Rocco. Uh, that's unbelievable. Both of these are like, what a great way to end the mail. What a seriously great way to end the mail. It's 712, so we're winding down. We're gonna do a uh a very random liquid tasting, and I think, I think this is going to usher in the uh, the Star Wars giveaway. Dun dun. Let's do a Star Wars giveaway. I don't have any uh, Star Wars music, but that's how we're going to usher in the Star Wars giveaway. Uh, we're going to email, okay, you guys? We're going to do an email. Let me give you the quick backstory of Star Wars. I have a gigantic Star Wars collection. It's tremendous. Uh, it's a Star Wars collection that I didn't really help curate. I just purchased somebody else's Star Wars collection, which I realize sounds like a weird thing, um, but it happened. There was a person who had a huge Star Wars collection. This person was moving away, wanted to get rid of all of life's uh, tethers and uh, was up for selling his entire collection, so I bought it. And now it just takes up space in my house. And so I want these items, I want these Star Wars items to go to the to Star Warsy people, okay? I want Star Warsy people to have these Star Wars items in their house. So, 
Uh, I didn't send out. I didn't send out last week's yet. I apologize. I did not send out last week's yet. But this week's uh, this week's prize. Yeah, it, it's a rancor. It's a Luke Skywalker and a big ass rancor monster, and it has a little like you can touch the cheek. It's like rubber, like skin on the rancor. It's not just plastic. It feels like, you know, a little more collectibly, you know, rubberized skin on there. They encourage you to touch his cheek. So I go in here and I touch his cheek all the time. This is a difficult one for me to part with because uh, I love it and I wanted to keep it and I like the rancor and all I wanted in life is to open this after watching Book of Boba Fett and then put a little Boba Fett figure on top riding the Rancor. How sick would that be? How sick would that be? So sick. It would be so sick. So here's the prize. Here's the prize. Uh, thank you, Addie Tooney. Thank you, Addie Tooney. We're emailing contest at grimgreen.com. Okay, your answers are going to go to contest at grimgreen.com. Let's see how let's see how people do, you know? Let's see how people do. The question that we're asking, hang on, let me get over here to contest at grimgreen.com. Let me do this. Let me do a this. The question we're asking tonight, if you want to win this, if you want to win this, put your thinking hats on. Put your thinking hats on. Last week, we did who is Beecher's favorite Star Wars character from any of the canon movies, series, whatever. Who is Beecher's favorite? This week, we're doing who is my favorite Star Wars character. Email your answers, contest at grimgreen.com, and you can win this. The first correct answer, the first correct answer is going to win this. The Rancor, which, look, here's a size comparison. This is how big it is. This is a water of, bottle of water. This is uh, Hell Track tickets. That's how big. Uh, Weenax is this big on the front of it. Who is my favorite Star Wars character? Please email your answers to contest at grimgreen.com. Please, uh, please do that now. I'm going to take one second while some answers come in. And uh, I'm going to go pee real quick. I just need to bio break. Nico's just hanging out being the best dog in the history of dogs. Okay, let's I'm gonna go check in on the answers. I'm gonna go check in on some answers. Um wow, so many people are wrong already. Uh let's see. It's not C3PO, it's not R2D2, not Han Solo, not Young Anakin, not Jabba, not Kilo Fromp. Is that even 
It's not the Rancor. It's not Boba Fett. It's not Yoda. It's not Chewie, although they're great characters. Not Chewbacca, not Vader, not Vader, not Luke Skywalker, not Boba Fett, not Darth Vader, not Lando Calrissian, not Jango Fett, not Boba Fett, not Darth Maul, not General Grievous. Grievous, sorry. Not Luke Skywalker, not Anakin, not Luke, not Boba Fett, not Palps. It's not Palps, but there is a there is a winner. There is a winner. First correct answer wins. Mother Trucker, you did it. I'm going to reply to the winner literally right now. Correct. Need an ID and an address with a bunch of S's on the end. The correct answer, the correct answer, let's look at some more incorrect answers. Uh, Django Fett, Chewie, Lando, Obi-Wan, Kylo Ren, Lando, Lando, Moff Gideon, no. Boba Fett, no. Han, no. Mando, no. Leia, no. Scotty. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. That's that's just funny. Um, not Qui-Gon, not Owen, <laughs> not Aunt Beru, not Bib Fortuna. Uh, not Sebulba because that was Beecher's favorite Star Wars character. Uh, there's a winner. There's a winner already. I, I've emailed this person back. The correct answer. Hang on. I have a bobblehead. Where? Oh, he's up there. This is my favorite Star Wars character for the record. Chirrut! Chirrut Imwe. He, he immediately became my favorite Star Wars character. I, I love this character. I love him. I love that he's blind. I love that he kicks ass. I love that, you know, he sacrificed himself. I loved his character arc. I love his, I am one with the force, the force is with me. I am one with the force, the force is with me. I am one with the force, the force is with me. It's Chirrut. It's Chirrut Mway. And uh, the winner, the recipient, where did he go? Oh, him, Shane. It's Shane. It's Shane. Shane sent me this? Shane sent me? Shane cheated, but Shane won. Doesn't matter. The rules are the rules and the facts are the facts. And when the cheese comes out, you got to pay the tax. Chirut Imwe. Immediately, as soon as I saw Rogue One, he just became my favorite Star Wars character. I loved him. I didn't really have a favorite Star Wars character. I just really liked the Stormtroopers. Like, that was my jam. Obviously, Stormtrooper on the throat. I just loved the Stormtroopers. So I was just like the Stormtroopers. And there was, like, Chirut, Chirut... Chirut. Okay, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to write your name on it, Shane. I'm going to write your name on the back. With two exclamation points. Boom! Shane, well done. Congratulations. You're going to be the future owner of a Star Wars Power of the Force Rancor and battle-damaged Luke Skywalker. Battle-damaged Luke Skywalker. That's cool. That's cool. It's just cool. Yeah, Shane Cole. Shane C. Sending it out. Star Wars. Woo! Love Star Wars. Sad to see that go. There, I have another one of those that's a bantha. That's the it's a bantha with a sand person riding it, and uh, that's the one that I may not be able to get rid of. I might have to, might have to keep the bantha forever because banthas, because sand people like they're so fucking cool. Um, can I have your one sentence review with no spoilers? Because as, as soon as I heard the name, the Dial of Destiny, I immediately went, no thanks, that's not for me. No thanks. I love Indiana Jones, but uh, 
the dial of destiny. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I guess that's that's fine. Um, here's how we're gonna end this here stream. It's time to take your shirts off. Get in the pit. Shirts off. Shirts off in the pit. Shirts off in the pit. Shirts off in the pit. Shirts off. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do a very random liquid tasting tonight, and we are using all liquids from all the same line. A few weeks ago, we got a big package from Big V, Big Five, E-Liquids, uh, and I want to taste one of them. So, up on Ye Old Chopping Block tonight, the first one from Big V, this is Platypus. This is the Pavlova Passion Platypus from Big V, that's Big Five Juice Co., all right? The second liquid that's up, Kangaroo, Sticky Date Pudding, okay? Hang on, I gotta put these in the, you can't vote yet. Yeah, I had a feeling that's the way this poll was gonna go. Yeah, it's more satisfying to go from, uh, from hot to cold than from cold to hot, okay? I didn't realize it was that heavily weighted towards hot to cold, but through yesterday's patron stream and through just now, I've realized that people would much rather go from hot to cold than cold to hot. So what are you going to do? Let's do a, uh, I know what we're going to do. We're going to do a very random liquid tasting is what we're going to do. So we're going to do... Come on. We're going to do and then we're going to do ooh. Okay, yeah, I know. I know. Murphy needs to walk. Murphy needs a walk. So, here's what's up. We're going to do kangaroo we're going to choose between kangaroo, platypus, and the last one is lion. This is a pomegranate lychee ice, a pavlova passion, and sticky date pudding. Those are the ones. Hi! Was that way too loud? Because I know it was. Please vote. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. Funk yeah. You want to watch my dogs play in. Crazy, crazy animals. Oh yeah, please vote. If you don't vote right now, then you're not gonna vote, and that's fine. You just don't get to complain. Sticky date pudding. I'm not leaning in any direction. I don't really have like a preference right now, so whatever gets chosen is whatever gets chosen, and whatever gets chosen is whatever gets chosen. Did I say that correctly? Just might be some light crinkling in the background for my dogs going bananas. You can watch him playing right there. Look at, he's trying to play with Schneeko so bad. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. It's funky. It's also a celebration. If you don't vote right now, then it's not gonna count voting. Sticky date pudding. Sticky date pudding is really in the lead here. Uh, I'm gonna grab out some Nico Time. Excuse me, Schmucks. dog's eating Vupu packaging again. Seems to be his favorite. He avoids smock and just goes straight for Vupu every time. These are going to be Nico time. Uh, you know, I don't see anything beating that sticky date pudding right now. 
I don't see anything beating that sticky date pudding right now. We might wait. I might wait for some more votes to come in. They all sound barfy. Mick, you know what? Sometimes that's why we do random liquid tastings. Just to have a bad one, you know? I don't know. Any of these could go either way for me. I have no idea what to expect. Like, I've had liquids where I'm like, oh, strawberry apple peach, this should be good. And then you go, oh, that's fucking diarrhea. And then you have other ones where it's like oat drips with mung bean. And you go, oh, this should taste like diarrhea. And then you vape it and you go, oh, no, this actually is, you know, fucking delicious. You know, vape the grimace shake. The grimace shake. I know Patrick Conquest is an avid anti grimace shake person. Now, I am, too. I had a Grimace shake from McDonald's and it was like the worst shit I've ever put in my mouth. I thought it was made wrong. When I took my first drink of it, I thought this has got to be made wrong. This is awful. Awful. It just kept getting worse. I drank half of it. It just kept getting worse. And what's fucked up is I didn't even order a Grimace shake. Didn't even order it. They just gave it to me. Okay, sticky pudding is probably going to destroy everybody. Yeah, so I'll, I'll let people continue to think they have a, a vote, but it's definitely going to be the sticky pudding. This dog action. <laughs> Nico is uh, going to be 12 years old, and Murphy isn't even one yet. And so Nico will sometimes play too hard with Murphy, but he still, all he wants to do is play with Nico, and sometimes she'll like mellow out and do like gentle puppy style playing, and that's what's happening behind me. It's just fucking adorable. It's just adorable beyond words. Let's go ahead and end this poll. Let's go ahead and end it. With 124 votes and 58% of the uh, polling, Sticky Date Pudding. Sticky date pudding. Who saw this coming? Sticky date pudding. I'm going to put some nicotine in here. I'm going to put two 18 mil or 18 milligram bottles. Where'd my big ones go? Here they are. Careful, careful. Last thing anybody needs is nicotine base flying all over the place. And if it is flying all over the place, at, at least try to throw it towards some kids. We need to make it easier for them to get nicotine. Whoa, okay. Of course I'm joking. Don't throw nicotine at kids. What are you crazy? You voted Pavlova Passion? Listen, we have a bunch more of these big five liquids, and I'm excited to try all of them. This is the same company that did the uh, Rebel Bogan plum job, my, one of my favorite tobaccos of all time, that peach or the peach tobacco, the plum tobacco. You got to really go nuts, and you have to make eye contact. That's what Fresh 03 says, right? Here we go. I can feel it. It's thickening up. <laughs> You'll vape your eye out. You'll shoot your eye out. Shmurphy. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello. Yeah, bite my arm. Just bite it. <laughs> Sorry. We're almost done. We're almost done. And then I promise we'll go play. We'll go on a walk. We'll do all sorts of shit. Uh, except, except I've got nothing to put this on right now. So, oh, man. Oh, man. So let's really quickly 
really very quickly. Uh, well, I'll throw one. I'll throw a wick into this cabello. I'll throw a wick in this cabello. We should be good to go. I should. Did, why didn't I do this ahead of time? This is the dumbest idea I've ever had. And you know it's messed up because I was sitting here before the stream, and you know it's like for the for the last 10 minutes before the stream starts I'm just sitting here and I'm like reading the chat go by and I'm doing like my mental Rolodex of everything I need I look around and I'm like okay I have this I got that I got this I got coils if I need it I got this if I need it I can have that I have this I got that edited it's here and I'm going through this like mental checklist something to vape huh for the random liquid tasting Nick you didn't think about that did you dummy no no I didn't So, just bear with me for one quick moment while I, uh... Rewick a Cabello real quick. Thankfully, thankfully, thankfully a Cabello is, uh, super easy to wick. It's just a single coil, you know? It's just a single coil. This happens to be a single three millimeter coil. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. We've used this coil in many, many a liquid tastings. Might have to give it a little thinning. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, thanks, Lee. <laughs> you know me. I'm always prepared. You know me. I always got got a beer ready to go. I always got an RDA ready. <laughs> I'm never late. Okay. Okay. Every time I hear Murphy chomping on something, I have to make sure that it's not anything like, you know. Oh, he's chomping on an RTA. Oh, look, he's destroying your Weenax pod. And so I think the same Cabello random liquid tasting rules are going to apply. If I enjoy it, I'll put it straight into the Cabello. If I don't super enjoy it, eh, maybe it's not going to go in the Cabello, you know? I guess it doesn't help if I wick a Cabello poorly. There it is. That's much better, much better. All right, we haven't even knuckle tested this yet. What am I even doing with my life? Damn, so here's the thing. I, Murphy wants to do nothing more than play with me right now. Do you see his excited tail happening over there? I mean, you can hang out, but no barking. Off the knuckle, this is crazy, crazy dates. Crazy dates. Uh, I'm a date guy. I love dates. My dad used to make us a date nut loaf all the time. It was basically date bread. Delicious. Delicious. I loved it. I love dates. Uh, I used to go to the grocery store all the time and buy dates instead of any other candy or snack food or junk food. I would go to Rayleigh's grocery store in Tahoe and buy a little packet of dates. Dates. And just eat them because dates are amazing. Because dates are unbelievable. This, off the knuckle... Very datey, very, very datey. Like, I here, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. You know, it's just very datey. Let me have a, let me have an inaugural toot here. Mm. 
All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna turn this wattage up just a little bit, maybe 30, 43 watts. Damn. Okay. Um, here's the thing. I'm gonna mute my microphone. I'm just gonna. D dates do make you poop. D dates do make you poop. I can. I will attest to that. Actual eating actual dates. Poop. Poop. I'm gonna mute my microphone so you won't be able to hear anything. I'm just gonna sit with this for a second. I'll come back. We'll talk about. This is crazy. This liquid is actually crazy. You hear Murphy going crazy over there? Oh, wing check. Come on, guys. Yeah. Yeah, sneeze it out, Murph. So, I'm a date person. This tastes like dates to me. It tastes like dates and coffee. I know, which is a weird combination but I get both of them out of this and it's really good. It almost tastes like, uh, it almost tastes like if Starbucks or, you know, it doesn't have to be Starbucks or corporate overlords, any coffee company. It would be like if a coffee company made a date cream latte or something like that. Like it's creamy, creamy dates and this essence of like espresso or something, but it's all a very, very like whole cohesive flavor. It's not like dates and other stuff and dates and pudding. It tastes like a date latte, like a date latte. That's what it tastes like. Sweet, sweet, creamy, creamy date, creamy date. Creamy, creamy date. This liquid is legit. This is going to definitely go in the Cabello without a doubt. It is delicious. Yeah, coffee icing maybe a little bit. It's sweet. It's dates. It's creamy. It's It tastes like, hey, get out of there. That trash is not for you. He's just looking for something. If there's a voodoo package, he'll just eat it. Um, dates, Murphy, can I finish? 
Dates. Dates and coffee. That's all it tastes like to me is dates and coffee. It tastes like a date latte. Like, like I said, if Starbucks or some coffee company made a date latte, it would be this. Go again. That might buy us some time. Date latte. Date shake. I could see a date shake. If, you, if you're a person who's, in, who's like, oh, I like dates. I'll eat dates. I'll eat date nut loaf bread. I'll just eat dates out of the ground. I'll just eat dates out of a plastic bag. No, zero burnt popcorn notes. Zero burnt popcorn notes. I don't know how they did it either. I don't know how they did it either. Simon, it's almost 4 a.m. in the UK. I don't vape at this time. Too late for you? Yeah, I get you. It's almost morning, though. It's almost morning, though, so... Zero burnt popcorn notes. It tastes like dates and coffee to me. Dates and coffee. Like I said, if someone made a date latte, a date latte, this tastes like date latte. Damn. Damn hell ass good. Yeah, Murphy's my hype man tonight for sure, 100%. I vape all the time too, Michael. I do. I wake up sometimes in the middle of the night and vape. I've done that frequently. I'll get up at like three or four in the morning to pee and then I'll just plop back in bed. And I'll just go, oh, there's my vape. And I'll just lay in bed, vape in the dark a little bit, fall back asleep. It's pretty great. Vaping in bed, I think, is the greatest like benefit to switching from tobacco cigarettes to vaping. Cause I never smoked in my house. I never smoked cigarettes in my house, living room, bathroom, bedroom, anywhere. It was always an outside activity. So the first time I started vaping, I was like, I'm vaping on the couch. You know, I looked over at my, my girlfriend I'm dating at the time. I'm like, check it out. I'm vaping on the couch. She's like, way to go, buddy. I'm like, ah, this is wasted on you. You don't get it. Dates for days. Dates for days. And even like the fruity part of the date, the, the like the crunchy, crusty, like skin of like a dried date, that comes through in this somehow. Comes through in this somehow. Dates. This is delicious. Shout out to Big Five for making fucking kangaroo uh, for the date people because dates, dates, bro. This is the first date. I think this is the first date liquid I may have ever had in my life. Maybe I've ever had in my life. And it is busting. That is busting. All I did was smoke outside. In fact, my brother and I, when my brother and I lived together, we would smoke a lot. We would smoke a lot. We were both heavy smokers, heavy, heavy smokers. And uh, we called them, uh, we called it speed racks. Have I ever told you about this? I don't know how we named this speed racks now that I think about it. I think it came from a story that my, uh, my brother was working in a casino and he caught one of the employees down in like the shipping area smoking cigarettes and they said where have you been and he's like oh i'm just doing the speed racks but clearly he was just sitting there smoking cigarettes so they at their job started calling smoking cigarettes going to do the speed racks and so my brother and i would call it speed racks he just he just lean over at me on the couch and be like speed racks like, yeah <laughs> we'd get up go outside smoke three or four cigarettes go back inside speed racks this kangaroo sticky date pudding is better than any speed rack I've ever had in my life. It's just dates. Like, I can't explain it any better. It's dates with, like, I feel like it's a little bit of coffee. Yeah, everybody should voop. Everybody should voop. There's a few holdouts in this chat, even. People that are here right now who refuse to voop. Refuse to voop. They have, like, a... They have like a 
you know, a, like a stance against it. All right, I can't get enough of this vape. And what I like, what I like most about this dates is there's no like cooling or culotta. It's not iced out in any way. <laughs> Feels like all I've been having is iced out shit lately. Not iced out in any way. I love it. I love the crap out of it. All right, you guys. This is officially it. I need to go walk these canines. Here's another uh, beautiful shot of all of the all of our patrons that were part of the stream tonight. Shout out to Delia. Shout out to Mags. Shout out to Frames fucking Janklin Vapor. And shout out to Rhett and his beard. And I loved the Rhett's beard Delia story. That's the, one of the best things. Like Delia was the smoker and it was hard for her to quit. So he's like out of spite. I'm going to start smoking. And he did. And like that's, that's like a crazy story. But I love it. And it's great. And it just, again, speaks to, speaks to the efficacy of... Uh, vaping for tobacco harm reduction everybody knows it preaching to the choir i voop every morning i voop every afternoon i voop if, if i'm vooping i'm vooping that's it there is no more pooping it's not a thing who who just goes and poos no you voop that's what you do now so with that said i'm gonna get to the rest of these super chats real quick too long too long we're running long uh, let's see. The Great Seamus. This one's for the documentary fund. You should definitely do that. Your charisma is very impactful. Just look at the community following you. I mean, thank you. Thank you tremendously, The Great Seamus. Uh, thank you for the documentary fund. If I, if I do a documentary, which I don't know, I, I don't know. I feel something inside me, you know, I feel the Holy Spirit moving me. I, I feel like this is something I really, really want to do and just make the whole narrative of it that the FDA failed people who smoke, completely failed people who smoke cigarettes. And that's going to be the that's going to be the the narrative of this documentary. But if I do a documentary, Seamus, I want it to be, you know, a, a classy documentary where there's no narrator. I don't want my voice or likeness involved in the documentary at all. I want the people who are being interviewed to tell the story. I want the people who are being interviewed to tell the narrative. I don't want to chime in with like voiceovers and, you know, a voiceover over like a drone shot of like a tobacco field, you know, and, I, and I'll say stats about smoking is still the leading cause of, you know, it's not going to be that. It's going to be a completely interviewee told documentary. I have people in mind that I definitely would like to interview. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Could be the next big thing. Lee. Lee. Just give me a hug, Lee. I'm happy to see your face. Uh, needs more butt crack. Yeah, it doesn't need more butt crack. I already explained, Lee, about my large torso and how that affects my butt crack showing. <laughs> I already explained that. Appreciate you, Lee. I hope you're doing well, bro. New Wave Dave says, hella chats, yo. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Hella chats are happening i apologize i didn't mean to completely abandon the the hella chats let's see uh cicero subscribed recently new wave dave new wave dave keeping it real with the hella chats on twitch my cat just came out of his room he was having his way with a hooker that that tracks grabbed a couple of beers from the fridge handed me one and asked bro <laughs> Can I borrow your baldo? <laughs> I looked at him with a grossed out look for a second. He went back to his room. That damn cat. Did they make cat size baldos? Did they make cat size baldos? I don't think so. And then Lee, not the real Gerard Butler. Murphy the vlog dog. Yeah, it, it's Murphy the vlog dog. At least it's Murphy the vlog dog this week, you know? At least it's Murphy the vlog dog this week. I know we're gonna go. We're gonna go on a walk. I promise. Trapped. What's the best way to get series build? I would say. What was that, Murphy? Do you know how to get series build? Murphy, what's the best way to get series build? You got nothing. You got nothing. Murphy. How do I get series build? High gauge wire. High gauge wire. If. 
one were to make like fused ah. Claptons out of ah. out of uh, go away. Here, 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 Murphy. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. We really need to go on a walk. High high gauge wires. I I think when I did my series fused Claptons, I used thirty seven. 27, 28 gauge cores with 38 gauge Clapton over it. And then I did a three millimeter eight wrap, eight, eight wrap, three millimeter eight wrap. And that's how we ended up to series. My personal choice for series is 0.3 and up. Some people will dabble in the high 0.2s, but that's, that's too hot for me. I like 0.3 and up. Queen Honey Bunny for the hearts. I appreciate you, Queen Honey Bunny. I hope you're doing well. And yeah, Murphy the Vlog Dog. Clearly, Murphy the Vlog Dog just barking up a storm. You know, and if Casey was here, you know, we, we wouldn't be having Murphy the Vlog Dog. But I will say, it's kind of fun having Murphy the Vlog Dog, you know? Makes the makes the stream a little breezier, a little less intense, I think. Uh, Sewer Rug says, yo, yo, and salutations, good people. Grim, what you do for the community is beyond incredible. We appreciate you. I will never eat wildflowers, though. Yeah, you know, you shouldn't until you do because you did. And I watched it. So that's a thing. But thank you. Thank you, Sewer Rug. Thank you. I really, you know, I, I'm, I never really know what to do or what to say. And it's because you're thanking me for doing something that I love doing. You know, I, I love doing it. I love helping cultivate a community. I love defending vaping. I love getting people who smoke cigarettes to switch to vaping. Like, I love it. It's a labor of love. So it truly and honestly is my pleasure. And uh, I'm happy to have you here, Sewer Rug. Very happy to have you part of the yo-yo. Uh, undeniably. Just a couple of, couple of guys with full heads of hair wearing hats, you know? That's what we are, Sewer Rug. Duchess Coils, my Duchess Coils. Uh, yo, yo, he says, I love you and I miss you and all the cool kids. Stay awesome as always. Hashtag stay metal as fuck. Yeah, Duchess, miss you too, man. Hope you're doing well. I hope that your volume's turned to 11 and it's just pig squeals and blast beats coming out of your headphones, you know? Just, just so fast, you can't even, it's like, is a human even playing that? No, probably not. It's a whole band made of nothing but pigs, pig squeals, pig drummer. This could be a thing. I miss you too, Duchess. I hope you're doing well. And on that note, that is the last super chat. Let me take a quick look around the room and make sure I didn't forget anything. <laughs> Murphy's like, oh, I think you forgot something, bro. Was it your walk? You guys want to go on a walk? Yeah, did you see how happy they got? Oh, you can't see them. They're hidden behind me. I said walk, and they both immediately stopped. Like, do you want to go on a walk? Schneeko. Oh, my gosh. Schneeko. My girl. Okay. I'm going to go on a walk. I'm going to go on a walk with the dogs, and uh, I think we're all done here. You guys, we did a lot tonight. We accomplished a lot tonight. Uh, we had a great video. You know, we had a great video from the patrons. I got two tickets to Hell Track. I mean, what 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 more do you need in life besides Din Jaren and Din Grogu in acrylic and and the Hell Track eighty six tickets? Ooh, careful, careful. You got to use those before they expire. You know. So a Misfits beer, a bunch of pods. One's called the Leaven. And we got to vape series tonight. And we got to vape on a mech. And we had literally the best date liquid that exists. It's hard not to love that date liquid. It's real hard. So here's what I'm going to say. Thanks, guys. That's it. Appreciate you coming out. It's the vlog. It's vlog day. Like, I I can't stress this enough how much I look forward to this, how much I look forward to hanging out with everybody and just like the chat and getting to know each other and just getting to like have this time and be awesome and, you know, be with my people and be smoke free. Uh, I, I'm, I'm such a cheerleader of vaping. I think it's going to literally change the world. It's, it's, it's already changed the world. It's already changing the world. 
uh, and it's going to keep doing it. So that's where I'm going to be. I'm going to be leading the charge, you guys. So peace out. Big love. Be excellent to each other. Uh, I love you guys like crazy. Uh, my new outro is the Yacht song. So let's let's enjoy this evening with the uh, the soothing tones of uh, Omboy OC singing to me via uh, uh, voicemail. That's it. I love you guys. Peace out. I believe I can fly. Let's go walk this dog. I believe I can touch the sky. Any time of year. Dun, 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 dun. I believe I can fly. <laughs>